compliments to my team. Isla Liness, thank you for all your hard work, uh, your brilliant insights. Carla Battisti, you rock for the same reason and you're there supporting me forever. Matt Thornton. Matt, 30 seconds, Thornton. <laughs> Thank you for giving me my countdowns. Davian Smith, you're a brilliant part of the team. Thank you all for all the hard work you do. And Deborah Brown, thank you for framing everybody up and, and uh, making us look so good. I'll be back tomorrow with our faith panel and lots, lots more. So do join me for that. In the meantime, it's over to James Well. So stay with us here on Talk TV. Tomorrow. This is Talk TV. Want to get to grips with the stories that really matter? To cut through the spin and the BS. Want unvarnished and fiery debate? Then join us for Crosstalk. One o'clock every weekday. We're here! Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. We're on your smart speaker as well. Criminals to using XL bully dogs as weapons to threaten others. No matter how well trained, most dog owners will tell you a dog can turn. Do you know what I love about sport today? We do it all. Sunak, Suella, scones. I rather like David Cameron. I don't sort of bear him any ill will because he delivered the referendum that he said he would deliver. The Tories love a scrap. You can almost see this coming round the tracks with Suella Braverman. She's heading up one side and Rishi Sunak the other. The police are pro-Palestine. That is just not right. You swear an oath in the police to act without fear or favour. The Covid inquiry seems to have turned into a sort of pantomime. There's not really any substance to it. It's hard to know whether it's a farce or a tragedy. For the amount of time it's taken, the number of illegal migrants currently sent by us to Rwanda, zilt. The amount of money it's cost, we're saying, what are we saying it's cost? About 140 million. 140 million pounds so far. So 140 million pounds so far result nil, absolutely nil. Are we only going to be trusting sources like Meta and Google? Where is our unbiased news going to come from? Calais in winter is cold. <laughs> that is from the Jeremy Corbyn book. Kevin O'Sullivan is the worst presenter on Talk TV. Sitting on his fat ass <laughs> talking for a living. If you're walking towards me and you're a vegan, you have a great big orange sticker over here saying, watch out, vegans about. The weirdest plank that we've had in, what, yeah. three years? Hundreds and hundreds of mice in a box, which he walks into a branch of McDonald's. McMouse Man. McMouse Man, yeah. McMouse Man. He should be easy enough to catch this guy, shouldn't he? I mean, he's got a house full of mice. He's on <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is a major summit. President Biden decided this is important after watching a Tom Cruise film. Sunak and the current Conservative government are not conservative. Why don't you leave that party and come to one that actually shares uh, your ideology? This has been a party political broadcast uh, on behalf no, of I the don't. Reform UK party. Hi, I'm Ofcom. Just, just... Kids think all they have to do is take pictures of everything. Just shut down TikTok. Problem solved. This is really unfair. What's, what, what's unfair? If it's on camera, we're not doing interviews. Yes, I'm going to do. I'm I'm going to, you're going to resign? Yes, because I cannot continue my work. When I say I am God, I'm not joking. Did you feel Elvis was controlling? I've been answering your question, you answer mine. It's actually not my job to answer your questions. Just Are you prepared you. to call is Hamas a have, terror group? Is it possible to have a rational you discussion can't, can with you? I've asked you two questions. Should Hamas stay in power and are they a terror group? You're refusing to answer either of them. They that won't. is very telling. Talk TV, it's the only place where you get the truth. You've done a book on poetry. Poetry and music for the many. I love poetry, we can agree on that. I'm getting ready for my new primetime show on talk TV and radio, 7 o'clock Saturday night, James Whale Unleash. I don't need you coming in here, following me around with a cow. I'm so sorry about this. Saturdays at 7 on talk TV. What's this music? It's man? terrible music. Everyone. Why do we have... Who chose this music? It's like Chill Out Room. Hang on. Did you choose this music? What made you pick this? Why would you choose such crap music to actually start 
the prime time yeah. Saturday night live TV show this is the with me. This sort of music when it gets too much in a rave, you have to go in the room with this sort of music and no lights. Could on. you turn it off and put on my special? Do you want me to, my hit single we've been singing for the no, last? Not, no, not. No, not, okay, not. probably not. Yeah. Uh, good evening. Welcome. Three hours. Three hours. Lift your mic. Good. Do you know the other lot Testing give us hardly? Trisha doesn't get out of the studio for she, two minutes. It's not plugged in, Ash, so you'll be OK. You can just lean over and talk in mind. Um, I'll carry on with the show. You know, 28 years on uh, radio and television and still hasn't learned. Anyway, listen, welcome to the programme. Loads to talk about tonight. Can you move me into the middle of the picture? I think I look better on my own. Um, and we will be talking about all kinds of stuff. That music will never happen Edit again. Edit that out in a bit, yeah. I'm sorry. Can we? Oh, good. Where, where's your mic? Oh, there. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. Mic. Uh, we'd just like to mention as well that Ash is wearing a jacket out of my new collection of checked jackets. I decided coming yeah. on to primetime I would change the way I dressed. For a while, the loud shirts will come back on different programs. We're trying to get a deal with the foster menswear at the moment. Are we? Who are they? Exactly. Yeah. Um, so anyway, welcome to the programme. I must warn those of you who are easily offended. And uh, judging by the demonstrations and the marches around, a lot of you are very easily offended. This programme, I think hang on, on some, somebody's obviously offended already. Uh, oh no, it's just an NHS appointment. I'll oh, and well, that's that important. Yeah, leave your alerts um, on for that. So anyway, uh, if you're easily offended, off, off. Don't watch the show because it will offend you. Leave the telly on, though, for other people. That would be selfish. Right. Here's the number if you want to come on. There are very few live television shows that will take people to air without questioning them. And if anybody questions you what you want to talk about, what's your point on this? We don't know. We don't want to know we what you want to talk about. We don't want to know. We want to know your name, where you call from, and you, we will try and get as many people on as possible. There's the number. Uh, for those of you listening to us on Talk Radio High to you this evening, live until 10... Do you like the way I said live? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 0344 499 Let your fingers 000. do the walking. 0344 499 1000. Why don't you put those calls that have just come on? Because I haven't yeah. even spoken about anything. I just... Because if we take calls <laughs> early, it, it stimulates other people to call but, in, like Pavlov's but, dogs. Yeah, but they might have better subjects than we've had. Yeah. You know. Let's try Yins. Yeah. Yins in London, you're on the air. Good evening. Good evening, James. How are you? I'm um, OK, thank you. What can we uh, What can we talk about? What do you want to talk about? Uh, you've just mentioned um, the protests. Mm -hmm. What about it? It should be back... Uh, basically, um, it should be... It, I mean, when I, when I switch on the news, it's Israel this, Israel that. I mean, all the protest marches, I'm sorry, but... They should be banned, and the police should arrest every one no. of those protesters. Yen, we don't have the jail space, but I agree with what you're saying. Thank you very much indeed for that. Uh, just before I go to uh, Gary, I'll go to Gary in a moment. I just want to talk about a few things. The uh, pro-Palestinian marches seem to be full of very thick and rather stupid people, very young. Um, I am again, I make this absolutely clear. I am horrified at the amount of innocent people that have been killed. I, I can't say that I'm surprised that so many innocent people get killed in a war because that yeah. is what happens. Yeah, so. But if we could stop the arguments, you know, and stop killing innocent people that are stuck in the middle, but some of the, the rhetoric from the people you're looking at on the screen now that are Palestinian dis demonstrators, people who don't seem to even know the, what they're talking about. Some of them yelling, mm. kill the Jews. Well, that's and the thing. They're not really pro-Palestinian. They're anti-Israel, anti-Jewish marches. A lot of the people in there. And, you know, because they don't protest when Syria, hundreds yeah. of thousands are killed in Syria, or the Uyghur Muslims, or yeah. Yemen, or any of the others. Because it's they, literally they, only when Jew it's, it, it, it involves it, Well, it's because Israel the media have got on to it. And they, they are It's a so, fashion. There's a lot of people yeah. involved, but they I think, should uh, think I think there it. are too many stupid, thick teachers yeah. around. Sorry oh, if you're yeah. a teacher and it offends you. I told you not to Well, watch. look at the universities. Yeah. Full of left-wing lovies. I mean, a lot of employers won't take people from top universities now because they say they're useless. They've been, in, you know, they've been indoctrinated with. Yeah. I mean, a lot of the American and ones and. Although ones I, here. I don't want to. We disagree about this. There's a march for Christians in favour of of. Uh, no, it's an uh, against anti-Semitism. Oh yeah, Christians against anti-Semitism. The Christian, you see, I'm against all religions. Any religion that makes you do the things that the two main religions, Christianity and Islam. 
I mean, so many ridiculously stupid rules. A lot less. A lot of Christians don't think the Church of England is a proper. But do you remember church. they had a march, but the police said, "Don't do it because it will yeah. wind up the others." Don't and this do is it. that one. I mean, it well, is yeah, but really, got, it's no, a counter. It's, it's a support. Stupid. It's showing support, actually. Well, I hope they don't kick off. I hope it doesn't get. It's hijacked. not going to kick off. I think it will be uh, very peaceful. Well, I'm against any of them. I think you should all. Andre shut. and Lois will be speaking there. Will they really? And well, Lois will be on with Andre doesn't, later. That with doesn't, Danielle. That doesn't surprise me at all because. I think a little sense and sensibility needs to raise its... That's a movie, isn't it? Sense yeah, sense and sensibility, yeah. it is. A costume. Um, anyway, we're going to talk, and then I want to talk about the people breaking into the country, the illegals, a little later. Uh, but if you want to talk about something different, please. And if you're one of these Christians uh, in, in favour of Israelis or whatever... With your brothers. Don't go on the march tomorrow. Stay See you home. down there. Because if you go on the march... And I think you're stupid going on about it, to be quite honest. Well. And... Christians, Christians against, against anti-Semitism. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Ridiculous. You just want to get your bit in because the religion. Feels When's the it's Christians not being... for anti-Semitism? No, oh, it's a joke. It, no, it's not a, a good one. Problem. Gary, good evening. I'll save you. Gary. Don't worry. Gary, good evening. <laughs> Hello. All right, Gaz. Hello, James. Hello, Ash. Gary. How are you doing? Right. We're, we're reasonably um, okay. He's a bit close, but okay. Can, can, can I have a couple of points? The first point. Let's we'll see how your first one goes. <laughs> this government likes uh, borrowing billions of uh, pounds every month. I just wonder if they could borrow enough money so that they could give everybody in the country a hundred thousand pounds, and then um, let let it uh, see where it goes. But that's just uh, well. A little later thought. on in the program, we're going to be talking to Elon Musk's dad. Yeah. Um, maybe I could slip that that in in the conversation. But then we'll all go. There'll be so much inflation. Hundred grand mm. will be worth about hundred quid after a bit, won't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> so, Gary, who cares? Gary, I'd enjoy it while it was there. Well, you might. Yeah. <laughs> Next point, quickly. Se second point is, when did two years get to be the sentence for killing an 82-year-old man? It's ridiculous. Given two years for doing it, I saw the video online. Um, I did want to talk about the uh, fact that the, com the com police commissioner, police, police mm. crime and Thingley Bob commissioner yeah. is also the mayor in London. Yeah. And the commissioner in London... To, they talk such rubbish. Mm. I did a call for his sacking the other day because, you know, they look at these people walking around shouting out some of the most disgusting things. They've lost control of the streets. And they don't do anything about it. And uh, they surrender the flag, you know, they actually and took the flag down. While I'm while I'm talking about it as yeah. well, he wants to play a clip, but I'd rather Elephant talk. Castle today. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, there were loads of people outside here, moronic idiot fools. Uh, play the clip you want to see and uh, we'll have a look at that. Here we go. Have a look, and uh, this is uh, the elephant and castle. Okay, well that's here in London, around the Elephant and Gas. So look at their stupid faces, all of them. Um, and it'll be the same with the people you think are doing useful idiots. Well. Uh, and what are the teachers doing? Because they're not telling them the history. I am. They're not, probably on the mark. I am not in any way defending the killing of innocent people. It's tragic what I am seeing. Uh, in um, Gaza at the moment, and something has to be done. It's absolutely tragic. And no no army would surround a hospital if there wasn't a need to do it. Not, and not. so the problem is the propaganda war is being won by the Hamas side mm. because people are too ignorant to listen to both stories. Mm. I, I saw a clip of Jeremy Corbyn's brother, OK? Your old mate. Yeah. No, he's not a friend of mine. He's an idiot. Both of them, anyway. Is and so he's talking out. He said October the 7th um, was well, he, a farce. It, he's a bit it didn't like, happen. Yeah, he's a bit deranged, to be honest. Can I have and some water, by the way? Can somebody get me some water? Uh, right, we're going to show clips from all over the country, and yeah. the demonstrations have taken pl pl place everywhere. Look at this. Look at this. What? Our team. Oh, yeah, they 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 yeah, they this is Camden Town, North London. Okay, so let's put the audio on. This is Camden Town, London. Could you work out what you're doing in the control room so we know what we're doing in here? That would be good. Okay, no. play it again with sound. 
one. Here Go. it is. Van the river to the sea. Van the river to the sea. Well, why doesn't he? Oh, am I on? Still, I thought you'd taken my microphone. Oh, I can talk over it. If he wants to go to the river and see, tell him to go there. I mean, yeah. why the are estuary. all these people coming into our country illegally? Calling for genocide. And they they don't like the way we live. Yeah. They don't well, like Well, they want to take it over. That's, they want to change yeah. it and take it over via our democracy. At and weak some point, we have to say system. thank you to our team. Chuck Thomas, our producer, Samara Gill, George Yannikas, Mark Gallagher. Just remind me, I'll probably forget. Yeah. I'm yeah, probably man. rude about them. Uh, but we oh, to get beginning embarrassed. Bob now. We'll do that again. Uh, Bob in Croydon, good evening. You're on the air. What can we do for you? Uh, hi, James. Yeah, I have a point to make about uh, if you have a football match or a sports event, <clears throat> they pay for the police. Yeah. Um, therefore, all organisers of these marches and protests should be forced to pay the police for their presence. I agree. Yeah, but protest has to be free because it's protest. But they shouldn't be allowed every week because it's costing yeah. millions every week. But protest can be allowed, but as long as you behave yourself on it, and yeah. people are going on, oh, well, you never get anything done if you uh, unless you break the law. Well, Sorry. we've seen how disrespectful they are, and you have to have a lot of police down there because, you know, they're climbing over monuments, causing breaches of the mm. peace everywhere, but the police think... are doing nothing, so they're getting more emboldened and it's getting worse and worse. They've lost the streets. Yeah. If yeah. they had to pay for the police, then maybe they wouldn't protest quite so much. Yeah. Um, yeah. Bob, you make a really good point. Thank you for that. Let's go to Kevin in Southampton. Kevin, good evening. You're on the air. Yeah. Talking to the nation, good what evening. would you like to say? Good evening, James. Hi. Good evening, Ash. Good evening. Um, Mark Rowley, he needs to pick up his P45 and get out of the, the city. He's a disgrace. <laughs> Sadiq, Sadiq Khan's... Um, uh, so remember, it, it, he's it, democratically it, elected and yeah. he'll be there until the next Careful election. Careful what word you use. Yeah, but... Yeah. I hope, I hope to how he's voted out, James, because... This I can't guy say anything, after, of course. I must be neutral on this. He's not looking after Londoners, James. He is not looking after Londoners. He looks after the one side of London. That's all he's interested in, right? And and as for seeing people climb over our cenotaph, I would never thought I'd see that, James. Have we what got... We've, go I know. I think we might have that clip of the moronic idiot who climbed onto the cenotaph. Mm. And the cop is saying, oh, it's not against the law to yeah. climb on... You the know, Royal Artillery Monument, yeah, wasn't have it? A, have with a, a, with a, a dead look. soldier at the bottom. Have a, have, we're going to show it. Have a look yeah. at this. And uh, if you, there we are. Look at this moron. And he, he, they just told him to behave himself and go... There's a guy coming me. down. Yeah. Little, little I, stuff. by the way, I'm yeah, not mistaken in wearing my pocket. Okay, I'm wearing it just to say sod you to the people who did things like this and the people who have disrespected those who have fought for this country. Look at that. That's Look iconic. Yeah. It's just yeah. Over. yeah. And they disrespect our soldiers. A lot of these people would be celebrating. Our soldiers being killed in yeah. Iraq and Afghanistan. I mean, the enemy if within... If this was in an, another country in Europe, that guy would have been dragged off there by by yeah. his tie or hood or yeah. whatever, and he'd be thrown into a van. Unless so there's no laws for it. Of course, there's breaches of the peace. There's yeah. plenty of laws he could have got them on. Um, good. OK, let's go to... Ke uh, that was Kevin, wasn't it? Was that We've Kevin? got Louis. Louis, good evening North to you. North Hertfordshire. Louis. Whatever that is. Good evening. Good evening. What can we do for you, Louis? Um, I just want to say thank you, firstly, for letting young people like me have their opportunity to wear their voices on here. How old are you, Louis? Um, I'm 13. You're 13. You've got a very elderly voice for 13. But go on. I don't know if that's a compliment, but... <laughs> 30. I, I 30. thought she sounded about 30. No, no, you're 13. No. No. Very no. mature 13-year-old. Well, I don't year think old. she'd lie about it, but she might if she was going into a bar... <laughs> Anyway, Louis, carry on, and I'll 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 take it back if I think yeah. I'm wrong. But sometimes <laughs> um, I'm not. I just want to say that um, the protests, I think they they're just getting really heavily out of hand now. They because they're like the um, police, mm. or uh, like they're detaining people, but then they're saying it's not breach of the peace. Mm, I agree. Do, by They're the way, like, what's the number one record at the moment? Do you know? I can't remember what it is. I can't remember. But Who's your favourite TikToker? <laughs> I don't really have one. What What year were you born? Uh, 2010. No, she is 13, yeah. <laughs> no, she's just the most ever mature 13-year-old that's she's ever existed. She's rehearsed a bit. 
Um, do your teachers at school talk about these uh, demonstrations at the moment? Because I thought the most upsetting thing were the amount of kids who were allowed to bunk off school to join the protest. And there apparently was one of the teachers walking mm. along with them, shouting oh, out do. the uh, yeah. from the river to the sea chant. Yeah, yeah. What, what do your oh, teachers say to you? Um, they don't. They they don't really touch on the protest, but they they sort of encourage not encourage you to go on it. But they sort of like they don't really not. Ju I don't know what the right word is, but they don't yeah. tell you what to do. They just mm. if you there's no discipline like, in school anymore. You can do what you want really. So since mm. they got yeah. rid of uh, capital punishment, so yeah, sort of like they don't. How many really weeks until you're, you're off for Christmas? I think it's something like four. <laughs> <laughs> Louis, will you do me a favour? Yeah. Will you ring me again sometime? Uh, thanks, Louis. Nicola in Gloucester. Hello, Nicola. Good evening, James and Ash. Good Hello. evening, Nicola. Are you over 13? Nicola B. Nicola B. Oh, Nicola B. How yeah. are you, Nicola B? She tweets us yeah, regularly. I'm good. Yeah. I'm good, thanks. I'm sorry it's been a while since I spoke to you. That's um, okay. Let me speak to you both again. Um, yeah, what I wanted to talk about was uh, these uh, protests, so-called protest marches. Yeah. And um, what, what astonishes me is the amount of young white women, uh, you know, sort of teenage and middle-aged white women who are joining in on these parades and chanting this mm. disgusting anti-Semitic abuse. And um, we all talk about how, I mean, I suppose a lot of the middle-aged women are probably teachers and social workers, that kind of thing. And yeah. um, we all talk about how the students have been indoctrinated into this, you know, woke ideology, Marxist ideology or whatever. Mm. But I think that we've got to, I mean, we can blame the teachers, but I think we've got to start saying that, hang on a minute, these students, they are adults, they are young adults, they're at an age where their brain is fully formed, and yet they seem to get indoctrinated with all this mm. garbage. And, and they behave like entitled, spoiled yeah. children, don't they? I would, um, sorry, Nicola, just to, to cut in, I would like to hear from any teachers because I think we must have the worst teachers. But they've sort of become of the like ever. the student kids, yeah. haven't they? Just themselves. And I, I would also like to give anybody a platform here who went on the march today yeah. who thinks I'm being far too. Um, Lenient. Criti Criti critical, or yeah. what would you or say? Either. Or either. Yeah, I was going to use rude. But what's your, psych what's Harsh, your, your psychologist, or your psychiatrist, Nicola? So what's well, your view on these people yeah, that get I, involved? I don't, think, um, I don't think you can ever be too critical of these bozos, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Bozos, um, that's a good one. I like that one. I, I guess bozos. 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 But all this information seems to bypass their own yeah. um, conscious, yeah. critical faculty. Yeah. Very good and points. they know they're on a march very with good terrorist supporters as Nicola, well. Nicola, going to move on. We'll talk to you on Twitter very soon. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, loads of really good and sensible points tonight. Mm. Usually find when I open the lines, we get... Uh, yeah, this is very unusual. Get, and, and lots of ladies, which, you know, yeah, I'm not must surprised. Must be a full moon. Looking at us. Uh, as, if you want to text us, 8722. Start your text with the word talk. We're on um, X... We're on X on Twitter, at Virtual Ash, at the James Whale, at Talk TV. Yeah. Uh, everything um, James Whale and Ash are the ones that read my messages. Will people, uh, will people stop bringing their wars to my country? They're already here, 7-7, seven, seven, the yeah. Manchester Arena, the, yeah. the, the bridges. We've had it loads. People need to wake up and realise it's the same thing. We then. aren't defending this nation. Oh. We are taking... These are in invaders. They might not no. be violent invaders. We're at the bringing moment. in en enemies of this yep. country to join the ones that are already here. Okay, um, this happened earlier today. I got myself all dressed up, you know, in my I was combat ready when I came in before I changed, but they'd all gone. You commando. Been worried, worried. You in commando, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. At when Waterloo. Commando coming yeah. in. Uh, and, Here's uh, Waterloo let's Station earlier. Here we go. This was just downstairs earlier. Yeah. The police downstairs were absolutely amazing. There were police yeah. from Nottingham and all over who'd come to help in London. But, you know, we have the right to free speech in this country. And if some people continue to abuse it in this way... Yeah, it's getting in the way of people. People are scared to go into town, mm. you know, and you can't... It, the cost of it is millions every week. It can't, it's not possible. You know but, what you, I mean? you, you know, they need 
to arrest some of them. Well, the police did do a better to... job today. I think they're learning and gradually it will. But they be. weren't London police, a lot of them. They no, were not no. so. Well, maybe probably, they should learn from them. They're probably watching us now in the station across the road. Hi, guys. Yeah, have a coffee on us. Yeah. We'll send Chuck Well, no, have a coffee. For it. It's, it's... Yeah. Uh, right, let's talk to Christine in uh, Bedfordshire. Bedfordshire. Yeah, Christine. Hi. Hi. What would you Can like you... to say? Um, I actually kind of wanted to bounce an idea off you. I didn't actually hear about this um, the Jewish stuff on the, when they... Was it 1,400 people died mm. for about four days? Because I just hadn't had the television on for four days. Um, then when I was listening to commentary, somebody was saying one of the, infor one of the unfortunate side effects of this might be the West might not be able to supply weapons to Ukraine. What puzzled me right from the beginning is what on earth motivated the Palestinians to do something that was inevitably going to get... Uh, in These were, listen, li listen, Christine, you need to keep talk TV and radio on the whole time mm, so you know... Keep informed. Because you might need to run out and go and hide somewhere sometime. But... Mm. The fact is, they killed over 100... 1,400. 1, 1, they're, they're trying to basically... There's peace yeah. breaking out between Saudi Arabia and, and other countries with Israel, and Iran and Saudi Arabia are the ultimate enemies, and they're trying to destroy the Abraham Accords, destroy the mm. peace, but I don't think it's working, and uh, they were hoping well, it's by the Arab... Yeah, the, the Donald Trump was much better for peace in this he, world. Donald Trump was the one who set up this peace. Biden is actually causing more problems. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we are. Trump was yeah, we are. We are pro-Trump, but at this moment, people need to stop. We don't need a dumb, another demonstration or yeah. whatever by Christians against anti-Semitism. Oh no, that one's all right. No, it's not. Yeah. Thanks for your support, man. And if you go on it, I'm going to sack you. I'll be there, man. No, See you if tomorrow. you go on it, I'm going to sack man. you. Uh, yeah, Christine. So uh, you need to keep inf informed. Um, but the horrible and the, the, the horrendous thing is the amount of innocent people. Since the over 1,000 and, was it 1,240, something alike, they, mm. they, they find different numbers all the time because you never, you know, you, it takes a long time to count all the bodies and find the bodies. But uh, now we're seeing a lot more innocent people killed. I would love to see that stopped. Calling for a ceasefire, by the way, just ridiculous. You can call for a ceasefire. You can vote for a ceasefire in Parliament. Won't make any difference. Hamas don't want it anyway. They've still got the hostages. There's yeah. no, not going to be any talk of ceasefire with. And we keep uh, having hostages yeah. sent up that have been uh, killed. killed, killed, killed yeah. Yeah. Well, as the Israelis get closer, yeah. I think they're probably killing them and leaving. And Let's talk. Sort of... uh, thank you for that. Let's talk to Ray in Liverpool. Ray, good evening to uh, you. Hi, um, hi, James. Hi, Ash. I heard uh, I, there was one time on this news, right? That um, you know this SNP leader, he said he wants to take in 300 um, Palestinian refugees, but. I, I, you, you know, you, you need to, like, um, you don't know if these people have got, like, yeah. a criminal record or not, and this is... This is the You're thing. talking about Hamza Useless? Yeah. Well, the thing is, his in-laws were, 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 were stuck in Gaza, and he was very worried, and eventually got them out. Why isn't he calling for the release of hostages, seeing as he knows how it feels? That's a disgrace. You I'd be like calling. to ask another question, if yeah, I may. Yeah. Why are not the Arab and Middle Eastern countries around yeah. where this is happening accepting people to go and live there or to, yeah. to shelter Well, it's that's 75 years you could ask that question. But I mean, some don't want it because it is, is a big problem, but also they want to keep it as a, a sore why, I mean, in the Middle East. You would have East. thought Iran would have done it. You would have they thought They want to keep Egypt. it as a sore in the, in, in the side, don't they? A thorn it's in the such side. A, it's such a mixed-up situation we're in. What worries me is how many of these fr fresh-faced... <laughs> nearly said something else. Uh, how many of these fresh-faced young people marching and shouting out these horrific slogans actually know what's going on mm. very few like and some of them of course are trying to recruit for hamas yeah. and some of them well, are so stupid that think some of it is sponsored the, by yeah. iran and terrorist organizations yeah. they're, they're promoting and ray good to talk thank you for that tracy is in ipswich tracy good evening to you good evening james and ash Hello, you tracy. look dapper the pair of you yeah by the he's way. wearing clothes so of I course like, from I my like yeah. Yeah, thank from you. The james no, you, look, you look amazing james and you look really well um but my point was originally um going to be about um climbing the monument so yeah. i've had to change it because you've discussed it well, you so put your point one is yeah. about um lord cameron mm. oh i was lord gonna get to that cameron. he was a baron anyway yeah, but he's now going to oh, be Lord Cameron on Monday. And do you feel better about it or not? 
No, I flipping ate it. <laughs> <laughs> He's disgusting. He's a Remainer, isn't he? They brought all the Remainers back. Uh, Why would you bring back such a rubbish Prime mm. Minister as exactly. David Cameron? And they were nefarious bring activities, wasn't back. they? In yeah. The end. The the why they bringing that dodgy? Yeah. And him oh, and, and that, yeah. What? The and whole what? scenario, the, the Bullingdon Club. Oh, right, yeah. Infamous story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, why, exactly. why... And then just to try... You know, we are not reporting... Pig and lipstick. Not, not us, but we are reporting. But we're not discussing, because <laughs> if I was to say, call in, tell me how you feel about the innocent people being killed in the Ukraine and Russia. Exactly, people, exactly people what he's We've lost our there. democracy. We've got not an undemocratic... I know you don't vote for the problem, but and then he's brought in undemocratic... It's all totally... Mm undemocratically it's we're disenfranchised mad. and do you know what do you know what i hope he has on his robes on monday yeah yeah i hope he has on his robes on monday what? i hope he has a pig emblem if you know what the pig emblem is <laughs> oh tracy thank you for that we've got to take a break thank you tracy <laughs> Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. We're on your smart speaker as well. Criminals to use the XL bully dogs as weapons to threaten others. No matter how well trained, most dog owners will tell you a dog can turn. Do you know what I love about Talk Today? We do it all. Sunak, Suella, scones. I rather like David Cameron. I don't sort of bear him any ill will because he delivered the referendum that he said he would deliver. The Tories love a scrap. You can almost see this coming round the tracks with Suella Braverman. She's heading up one side and Rishi soon at the other. The police are pro-Palestine. That is just not right. You swear an oath in the police to act without fear or favour. The Covid inquiry seems to have turned into a sort of pantomime. There's not really any substance to it. It's hard to know whether it's a farce or a tragedy. For the amount of time it's taken, the number of illegal migrants currently sent by us to Rwanda, zilt. The amount of money it's cost, we're saying, what are we saying it's cost? About 140 million. 140 million pounds so far. So 140 million pounds so far result nil, absolutely nil. Are we only going to be trusting sources like Meta and Google? Where is our unbiased news going to come from? Calais in winter is cold. <laughs> <laughs> that is from the Jeremy Corbyn book. Kevin O'Sullivan is the worst presenter on talk TV. Sitting on his fat ass, <laughs> talking for a living. If you're walking towards me and you're a vegan, you have a great big orange sticker over here saying, watch out, vegans about. The weirdest plank that we've had in, what, yeah. three years? Hundreds and hundreds of mice in a box, which he walked into a branch of McDonald's. McMouse Man. McMouse Man, yeah. McMouse Man. He should be easy enough to catch this guy, shouldn't he? I mean, he's got a house full of mice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is a major summit. President Biden decided this is important after watching a Tom Cruise film. Sunak and the current Conservative government are not conservative. Why don't you leave that party and come to one that actually shares uh, your ideology? This has been a party political broadcast uh, on behalf no, of I the don't. Reform UK party. Hi, I'm Ofcom. Just, just... Kids think all they have to do is take pictures of everything. Just shut down TikTok. Problem solved. This is really unfair. What's, what, what's unfair? If it's on camera, we're not doing the interview. Yes, I'm going to do. I'm you're, going going to, you're going to resign? Yes, because I cannot continue my work. When I say I am God, I'm not joking. Did you feel Elvis was controlling? I've been answering your question, you answer mine. It's actually not my job to answer your questions. Are you prepared you. to call is Hamas possible, a have, terror group? Is it possible to have a rational you can't, can you? Use? I've asked you two questions. Should Hamas stay in power and are they a terror group? You're refusing to answer either of them. They that won't. is very telling. Talk TV. It's the only place uh, where you get the truth. You've done a book on poetry. Poetry and music for the many. I love poetry. We can agree on that. It was a different time and you were allowed to do disgraceful stuff like this. Thank goodness we are not right. showing... Let's listen to your rapping technique. I can't do it. OK. Right. Where's the lyrics? This is a little instrumental. It's like the art of noise, isn't it? 
That record I uh, I released in the late 80s. When does it come um, in? When does it kick and, in, man? And it got in the charts. I performed it live on Hitman. Can you still remember the dumps? Uh, <coughs> yeah, I can, but I'm Go gonna on, do it. No, I'm not gonna do it at the moment. Uh, I'm 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 too old to let's do that. Let's release it for Christmas like no, we did last year. We'll redo a Christmas version of it. Let's not. If you want to see more of it, you go on YouTube, you can find it there. Put my name in and you'll find it. And it was called Bimbo. And I'm, I'm told by our uh, Australian assistant pr producer. The Hitman and Her with, with Boney M. Oh. Do you remember Chesney from Boney M? I did M? do it in Stockton. Chesney and Dunstable yeah. used to read it from Boney M. Club right. in Stockton. All right, Chesney. You haven't found a, a bit of it, have you? Anyway, apparently Bimbo is now... What, what did it's you say? It's a good say? positive word. It's in a Australia. positive word for, uh, for Samara, our Australian correspondent, uh, yeah. can confirm Tamara, this. Samara, just confirm this. Yeah. Is it? So oh. So we can good. call you the show Bimbo, and it's empowering you. Yeah. Yeah. Right, okay. The lovely Bimbo. Our uh, Bimbo. Yeah. yeah okay. Well, we, uh, listen. Uh, gay people are taking back the word queer. Well, that's a bit offensive, isn't it? I mean, what no, about the other ones, not. like, uh, you know, the the other offensive ones? Well, well, why don't well, they take them all back? I mean, why people are they... People right. Yeah. We've let's got loads go, of calls. Yeah, let's go to Margaret in Bedford. Keep calling us. Margaret, good evening. Yeah, good evening. Um, uh, I've seen the uh, one of the young female teachers that was bragging that she was going to bring her students' class to uh, the, the protest every Friday. Surely when she w took a, a contract of, of uh, teaching... There must be rules and regulations in there that yeah. she's bucking. Gross How misconduct. How is she getting away with that? Yeah, I couldn't agree yeah. more. Could you? Exactly, of course, you breach a country. You've got, you've got to go work. You know, our schools and universities are letting us down big time. Big time. Well, they are like the students now. Some of the teachers, you know, they're a bit become like that a bit. Well, they were right, the yeah. students when the students suppose, decided. They've to... not grown up, have they? No. They need to grow and up. And the universities are complaining they're not making enough money. Do you think it's because young people, like lecturers and that, they can't actually afford to live anywhere? They, they stay like kids in a way because mm. they can't afford stuff, so they, they, they never actually grow up. You know, I think if you, you're going into... I'm right, an, I'm right. You're right. You're going into an academic career yeah. and going to university is a very good idea. Yeah. Uh, apparently getting people from abroad to come here to go to university is good because they have to pay nearly twice... But even the, the courses are dumbed down. Like in the old days, you'd study big major things. Now they find little, like in psychology, mm. now they look at little tiny niche things because it's cool, but they're actually missing out on the mm. bigger. And that's why you don't get the great thinkers like the Einsteins and the Freuds of, of yesterday. And you and me. And you and me, because yeah. we've had to go into broadcasting. Didn't you go to university? Yeah, bro broadcasting, yeah, well, there we this are. is why. Yeah. yeah. Did a, I yeah. Um, anyway, I did, listen, I did, I did. Uh, great, Margaret, I thank you I so am. much for that. It's a good point you brought up. Stevie in, uh, where's that? Waltham, Waltham Abbey. Abbey. Yeah. Hello, James. Hello, Ash. Oh, uh, nice to talk to you. It's uh, Steve, the kidney kid. I come in all them years ago and sat The kidney on kid, show. I remember you. Yeah. He's grown up. What can we do for you, Stevie? Yeah, James, you know what I was being... No, what, too, not disturbed, but I watched uh, Peter, uh, Peter's interview Jeremy Corbyn this week. Yeah, that was disturbing. And that. And then I thought about it that night, and I thought, well... And also I found out that Keir Starmer... His wife is Jewish, mm. and this is the man that backed him to become leader. Let's just remind ourselves, it was a, a, a great interview. Oh, that hurt me to say. Although he stood strong, um, Keir Starmer, on the ceasefire, and see the Peers, ceasefire. Yeah, with Piers. Mm. Look at this, Here have a is. quick look at this. Piers and Piers. Or welcome Hamas. Are they a terror? Are they a terror group? Everybody knows what they are. Are they a terror group? Look, um, hey, Piers. Can, can you we, say it? You, Piers, can we have a discussion? Can you say it? Can we have a discussion? Can you call them a terror Piers, group? Jeremy. Can we have a discussion? Can you call them a terror Piers, group? Is it possible to have a rational discussion? Are you prepared with you? to call is Hamas it a terror group? Is it possible to have a rational you discussion? Can't, can you can't, can you? Is it possible? Come on, answer that you question. You can't, can you? You answer it. No, it's my okay. show. You answer my question. Well, are, Hamas, you are, the, are Hamas a terror group? Listen, can I. Are they a terror group? Piers, can I. Speak? Answer the question. Can I speak? Are they a terror group? Piers, can no, you let me, no. If you let me speak. I wonder where he got. You know, Sorry, Jeremy he's going to start sorry. wearing my clothes again before but, long. He was plugging his... We should no, read some of I'm, ta I'm, I'm talking about uh, Piers, you know, he's yeah. going to be wearing my clothes. He's probably going to have his hair. He's got lovely soft like jackets, mine. you know. Yeah. I've touched them. I wonder where he got his idea. He did tell me... But Corbyn just now. lies to your face. He'll say, oh, no, I didn't say to a friend. Why a guy, a guy went out and I said, where's my hammer? And then they show the clip of him yeah. actually doing a speech and saying it. He lies that he didn't say stupid woman. He said, he says, but we could yeah. all see. He, says, he lies that he didn't go to that funeral yeah. with the reef. He just happened to be. He's a straight-up liar. All right, I want to ask this question. 
Why can't you, in his position, just say uh -huh. yes? Even his mate with him. Will you shut on. the flip Len up a minute? He brought Len McCluskey yeah, well, as a sort of... Two of them are extremely silly people. He's the current I people. would like to know why people in his position, or any of you out there, get offended and upset when we say that Hamas are a terrorist organisation. That's why the BBC aren't going to be around for much longer, I don't think. Why they've decided to take sides, I don't know. Hamas is a prescribed terrorist organisation that will do the most appalling, They put a two-month baby in an oven alive with the parents listening to it, crying out. And if you think that's a lie, we could... Well, I don't think anybody should see or hear it, mm. but a lot of... I can assure you... That's just one of the things. Yeah. Just disgusting. Of many. But, but... That doesn't really help all those innocent kids and families that are being killed. Well, in Hamas are the putting moment. them over yeah. the weapons, you know what I mean? There's but nothing um, uh, that makes best. me sad when I hear about it. It does make me sad. Uh, Stevie, good point. Thank you. Lisa is in uh, Gosport. Lisa. Hello. Hi, Lisa. Your Hi, point. Hi, My point is that Britain um, was and still is a Christian country, which historically stood Excuse up... Excuse me, it's not a Christian no, it's country. Church of England, yeah. it's, a, it's a country that allows any kind of religion you want. Henry VIII wanted to shag a few more women, so he Well, that shows it works. It's very free church here, isn't of it? England. It's very free, but, but it is Church of England. And that's well, how point, it should work. I don't care how that's many... That's what Israel's like. My point was that Britain stood up to the Nazis. Yeah. And so I think that... Christians against anti-Semitism is not a new idea, no, and one it's that I not. would support. Well, I agree with you. I think we need to get less people getting themselves all wound up about it, and we would go on and do better. Absolutely right. So you're right. coming on the march tomorrow? Thank you, Ken. Uh, thank you, Lisa. Let's um, talk... L l sorry, Lisa, I've got to just whip on. I'm being given mm. rude, rude ah. signs. Mm. All right, Ken, you're on. I will be on the Christians for an, against anti-Semitism tomorrow. And James, you are a vile, evil hater of Christians, my friend. <laughs> off, you need to be removed off, from the top off, TV. Go you away. Need to be removed you go removed. away. You, you are a vile hater you, of Christians. Do you know? You incite hatred. I don't like Christians. any religion, to be honest with you, but I accept people's democratic right, like you, to go around talking, in my view, rubbish. And it's a free country and I can do that. I wouldn't dream to come on and talk to somebody who is terminally ill the way you just did. So you can go away. And I don't think, uh, really, if there's a heaven or a hell, you'll be getting anywhere very soon. This is the last time I will ever have you on this show. Because, quite frankly, you're a little scumbag and you can go. Bye. Ken's in purgatory. In purgatory. In purgatory. And he's put his radio on. Yeah. Um, I, I'm sorry about that, but, you know, the, the guy, he's the nutcase that goes around Parliament holding up Jesus... The thing is, everything he said has come true. That's Don't, the worrying thing. Why do you support the nut? Well, I'm not, but... It, but please. It, it just, I go, it can't be true, and then it comes I, true. I happen... You're, you're Jewish, you have a, uh, you're I religious. Know. Yes or no. I am secular, OK? Oh, yeah. I was born... And when you're secular, you're classed... As Church of England well, you were baptized. Christian. You were baptised in a font. They you can't get that. more Christian than that, can you, they ladies did and gentlemen? That. My parents never yeah, well, that's how it went works. To You don't church. get the choice of your religion. Your parents choose it, and that's what they chose if for you. Accept it. God, Accept it. If there is a God, and that God comes His brother's a priest. Me, His brother's a priest. And that... Uh, not a priest. Virtually. He's a, he's a yeah, he does born very Christian. better than a priest. Can I just Sorry. say what I want to say? Because if you carry on like this, you're going to go on to the later show. Because yeah. I'm getting well, annoyed. That was our old show, going to. I've, I've been bumped on that. Have you? I'm going to bring... You can't do it on this I'm one, because it's before the watershed. <laughs> I'm going to bring Lady before W on. Anyway, look, I, I champion the right for anybody to believe in religion. I don't. If there is a god or a deity or some huge... Well, one of them's got a big right? No, they haven't. Um, and if they come to me, and I'd love them to come to me, I'm open to all suggestions. But when I hear people like that scumbag, I'm not going to have him on again, that's it. Mm. He can go. He can Sorry, go on every yeah. other programme... On talk, hey, will. not on this. Uh, John's in Leeds. John, good evening. How are you doing, James? I'm good, John. What can I do for you? Uh, radio Air. Yes. What about it? Do you know? Well, that's why. That's why I lived. That's where I met you all them years ago. Did you? Yeah, I right. met you there, James. Okay. And, uh, what, what I'm saying to you, this country, they're not going forward; they're going backwards. 
I'm, like, I'm afraid I tend to agree with you, John. Well, we've developed this we country's are. freedoms over thousands yeah. of years and it's all being taken away. Yeah, I agree with you, John. Uh, thanks for your call. Good to bring back the memories of Do you remember uh, him Leeds? from Leeds? Yeah. Oh, yes. yes. Right, wasn't it? Um, Alex in London. Yeah, Alex, good evening. Good evening, gentlemen. Um, yeah. Look, I don't want to carry on too long, but I'm, I'm an ex-soldier, an ex-paratrooper. Uh -huh. The whole of my family served in First World War, Second World War, and I served myself in the Middle East and in Africa as an independent. And these marches, these ridiculous people, um, for the first time in my life, I'm livid. I'm absolutely sick and disgusted. But the only thing, there is a positive side to the marches. They've made us realise yeah. just what an awful situation we're in. Exactly. I mean, Douglas Murray put it very well. He said, at times like this, a flare goes up and you can see where everybody is. And do you remember when the massacre happened and you saw who didn't tweet, like... Gary Lineker didn't tweet out. It was the people that didn't say things that really shot. And now we're seeing what side everyone's on, aren't we, John? Mm. Uh, James. Um, yeah, we are. Uh, it's a good point, James. Thank you very much indeed for that. Uh, <laughs> Glynn in Paynton in Devon sent us a very nice text. It said, why does the Western media always support Israel? Are these organisations owned ultimately by Jews? What are, what are well, that's another fascist... trope, isn't it? And if you look at this company, no, it's not. What a and fascist like most thing of them to say. What a fascist thing well, to it's say. Just a, it's a typical have, trope. We have trope. shown non-stop all the demonstrations. Tonight we're showing the demonstrations from right across the country. Mm. And these are all people in support of Palestine and unfortunately quite a lot in support of Hamas. I am totally against... I don't like war. I have a, a member of my family in the armed forces. I don't like the idea of war, but I'm glad... I'm glad these guys are there. I'm glad Yeah, but ultimately, you're wrong. The organisations aren't owned by Jews. No, of That's an anti-Semitic yeah. blood libel trope yeah. that you've and got it's, there. It's, so you need to read a bit more yeah. or just shut up, basically. Have you, have you feel you've dealt with it? Yeah. yeah, OK. Yeah. Uh, James in Manchester. James, good evening. Your point? James? Yes, James. Hi. 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 Oh, James. Hi. Um, I just, I'd just like to say that the, the um, arrangement last week where everybody turned up in London, it was one of the biggest insults this country has ever taken on board. Mm. Because what people didn't take on board was that the troops that fought in the First World War were the same troops that fought the Ottoman Empire. Yeah, exactly. And with yeah. the same people that have been to Germans. And, and the, the Second World War as well. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, you know, would go about 14, 14, but were the first ones that, um, that handed over the mm. country of Palestine to the Israeli in the first place. So these pictures of these people demonstrating are shown all over Tehran and all over the world. And it's just it was the biggest photo opportunity of yeah. all for them to have people there. But the biggest insult of all was they're not doing it this week. So they could have mm. missed it last week and done it this week, so why? It's all propaganda. They're rubbing it in our face. That's why they're on the monuments. They're, they're just putting it in a, you know, poking our eyes, aren't they? This country, that's what they're doing. Yeah, I think you're right, James. Thank yeah. you very much Thanks, indeed. James. We will take a little break, and after that, any of you who live or know, uh, live near Barnard Castle or know Barnard Castle, I know Barnard Castle well, will be so interested does Dominic Cummings. in this next little interview right after Christmas these words. has been banned. Has it? Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. We're on your smart speaker as well. Criminals to using XL bully dogs as weapons to threaten others. No matter how well trained, most dog owners will tell you a dog can turn. Do you know what I love about Talk Today? We do it all. Sunak, Suella, scones. I rather like David Cameron. I don't sort of bear him any ill will because he delivered the referendum that he said he would deliver. The Tories love a scrap. You can almost see this coming round the tracks with Suella Braverman. She's heading up one side and Rishi soon at the other. The police are pro-Palestine. That is just not right. You swear an oath in the police to act without fear or favour. The Covid inquiry seems to have turned into a sort of pantomime. There's not really any substance to it. It's hard to know whether it's a farce or a tragedy. For the amount of time it's taken, the number of illegal migrants currently sent by us to Rwanda, zilch. The amount of money it's cost, we're saying, what are we saying it's cost? About 140 million. 140 million pounds so far. So 140 million pounds, so far result, nil, absolutely nil. Are we only going to be trusting sources like Meta and Google? Where is our unbiased news going to come from? Calais in winter is cold. 
<laughs> that is from the Jeremy Corbyn book. Kevin O'Sullivan is the worst presenter on talk TV, sitting on his fat ass <laughs> talking for a living. If you're walking towards me and you're a vegan, you should have a great big orange sticker over here saying, watch out, vegans about. The weirdest plank that we've had in, what, yeah. three years? Hundreds and hundreds of mice in a box, which he walks into a branch of McDonald's. McMouse Man. McMouse Man, yeah. McMouse Man. He should be easy enough to catch this guy, shouldn't he? I mean, he's got a house full of mice. He's on <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is a major summit. President Biden decided this was important after watching a Tom Cruise film. Sunak and the current Conservative government are not conservative. Why don't you leave that party and come to one that actually shares oh, your this ideologies? This has been a party political broadcast uh, on behalf no, of I the don't. Reform UK party. Hi, I'm Ofcom. Just, just... Mm. Kids think all they have to do is take pictures of everything. Just shut down TikTok. Problem solved. This is really unfair. What's, what, what's unfair? If it's on camera, we're not doing interviews. Yes, I'm going to do. I'm you're, going to, you're going to resign? Yes, because I cannot continue my work. When I say I am God, I'm not joking. Did you feel Elvis was controlling? I've been answering your question, you answer mine. It's actually not my job to answer your questions. Just Are you prepared you. to call is Hamas possible, a terror group? Is it possible to have a rational you can't, discussion can you? I've asked you two questions. Should Hamas stay in power and are they a terror group? You're refusing to answer either of them. They that won't. is very telling. Talk TV, it's the only place where you get the truth. You've done a book on poetry. Poetry and music for the many. I love poetry, we can agree on that. Uh, we're back. Good evening. Welcome to the James Well Show. We're on prime time, 7 till 10 Saturdays now. Tell your friends, join us, and uh, we can have all kinds of conversations. Give us your ring. The number should appear under my finger. And if you're listening to us on Talk Radio, it's 03444991000. Um, Mark from Norwich had, uh, I'd always been a die-hard Brexiteer until one day I had a bacon sandwich. Then I instantly became a Remainer. So I was wondering, what happened to the pig you were talking about earlier? Mark from Norwich, do you want to tell him or not? Which, oh, yeah, no, we, uh, well, we don't know allegedly what happened to the pig, but apparently does, it's still around and lives in a, a, a flat. Yeah. yeah. OK, let's, uh, let's talk about Barnard Castle. It's not a place I ever intend to go again, uh, for all kinds of reasons. Well, you've been there, haven't you? Um, I have, yeah, a couple of times. Tell us about it. Um, no, let's talk to David Harper, who is a BBC antiques expert. I do like... The Antiques programmes. The Antiques the Road Show, is he from yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. Uh, David, good evening. <laughs> good evening, chaps. Great to see you both. I'm not from the Road Show, Ash. The ro I'm no. from the Road Trip. It's the we Road Trip. It's a spin-off. I yeah. really enjoy watching that. I you like the one in the sports bit. cars at the beginning, isn't it? Yeah. That's yeah. the one. Yeah. yeah. Like and then you get to drive those old cars. Could you put a word in for me, please, to be a guest on yeah, one day and have a do that, man. ride do around that. the country in an old car? Oh, guys, I, I bet it would be great to do a trip could, with you. Too. Could it you really bring my walking stick in, guys, so I could just I check I saw my mate Ricky Grover David. on there and he nearly got into a fisticuffs with the auctioneer. Luckily oh, for the auctioneer, he didn't, because he's a pro uh, boxer, heavyweight. Uh, was that with Ricky? Ricky Grover, yeah. Yeah. I was with him. We, we Do you were remember? He got a bit the feisty, the auctioneer. <laughs> Actually, I think he's an amateur heavy, but a, 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 a champion one. So. Yeah. Rick, I love Ricky. I, yeah. I, I was talking to him. He's living in Scotland now. Yeah, so well, I, I heard that. Yeah. I don't know why he's gone now. I must give him a ring. I'll give right. you a ring. Yeah. Right. Just before he's, we talk yeah. about the reason you've come on, David, OK? Yeah. Which will get everybody. I just wanted to uh, <laughs> abuse my situation. Now, can you... I don't know okay. if you can see... Uh, this is my, my walking stick, OK? Uh, which well, James, I, James, is yeah. this your evening stick? It's not to hold it further in, look. Do I need a it's got a metal, uh, two. it's ebony, and it's got, look, a lovely metal... Uh, thing. Metal? metal? Yeah, metal. Metal. Silver. Silver. silver, silver. Sorry, silver. Yeah, I, I reckon yeah. it's worth about 50 quid. Is it English, is oh, it? Oh, I think it's worth more than that, James. I'll, I'll, I'll give you 65, how's that? Done. Oh, OK, OK. Um, I'd, I'll keep it for the time being. It's just useful, you know, to go. And it's got a lovely, what do they call that little bit around there, silver It's not bit. got one of those swords inside, does it? No, it has a not. silver collar. Yeah. Now, you, James, sorry. have you dated it? Because it'll have some beautiful hallmarks on there. Oh, yeah. You can get a magnifying glass. From the letter. From the letter, the symbols. The it'll style. tell you where the style it was of the made. Letter, yeah. yeah. I can't, I can't. Can oh, hang on. It's, oh, here we go. Yeah. I what can't, do you it's see? Very no, that's worn. just the pattern. Oh. Is it, it doesn't say made, made in, in Taiwan. Taiwan. No, 
He doesn't say that either. I bought this years Listen. ago in an antique shop in uh, up mm. in in uh, Harrogate. Yeah, I think they Yorkshire. saw you coming. Yeah. Anyway, we'll leave that now. Yeah. Uh, don't forget, I want to come on one day. I might even bring him, but it's unlikely because he'll. Well, that'll be good fun. Take the. I know too much about take, antiques. So take the tone <laughs> of the showdown. Um, you are a pretty cross with Barnard Castle. Tell us well, why. With the Bose, I'm, I'm cross with the Bose Museum. Because right. Bose Museum, it's a great museum. I'm very proud of it. We all are. It's, it's the largest collection of art in one place outside of London mm. in the United Kingdom. It brings in tourists from all over the world. It celebrates our history, our culture, our traditions. That's what it's all about. Yeah. It's British through and through. And they have a great Christmas market, chaps. I it's know, a wonderful I've been. event. Well, like a ge been, in Birmingham, I, they have a German Christmas. Is it like a German one, the Christmas market? No, it's just it's a British, a British Christmas, Christmas market. market. People Excellent. wear Christmas jumpers. They start the celebration season, whether they, you know, are, yeah. are Christian or whatever. It, it's just Christmas. And what, yeah, what excellent, man. Is, let's leave the religion out of this. Is it just yeah, a, I love Christmas. Really I'm well Christian. Celebration. Yeah. And every time I go yes, into sir. my local Indian restaurant, they have got the decorations up before anyone else. Yeah. Well, it's actually uh, very uh, offensive uh, to people, no, this no, cancelling Christmas. Well, it is to me. Um, well, it, and it was to me. I, I was having coffee in Barnard Castle, and somebody had said to me that Bose Museum have cancelled the word Christmas. So their big Christmas market, the big celebration, where also it's a commercial thing. Don't forget, mm. chaps. There are there are traders there relying on people coming in to celebrate Christmas. You get forty percent of your trade Christmas. in that week. Hang on, hang on, guys. What yeah. what reason did they give for not wanting to call it a Christmas market? Well, a very good reason. Their reason is they want to make it more inclusive, to invite people to come along to the Christmas market who don't like Christmas. If it's you monstrous. don't like Christmas, sod off. And they're stupid because they're excluding those people. They're actually differencing them, aren't they? Because, yeah. And, yeah. you know, I'm not Christian, and I know other people like me will think the same. This is the old white saviour. Oh, we're looking after you. It's very patronising, actually. And a lot of people from it's different religions love Christmas. rubbish. So it's actually it's racist, actually, in itself. Yeah. It's actually racist. It's become so divisive, and yeah, exactly. I made a bit of a, a tongue-in-cheek post on my Facebook page saying, hey, guess what, Bose Museum have cancelled the word Christmas, so if Christmas, the word, is illegal, what shall we call it? And I just yeah. thought I'd get a few funny remarks. Well, it went ballistic. Yeah. I'm not surprised. <laughs> but it's other than like say, other people. Have, the B, have, the, have um, it's ITV your show's on, isn't it? No, BBC. no, BBC. Damn, yeah, yeah, that's a problem. You watch um, Antiques Roadshow, Hugh Scully, you know. It's really... No, no, I watch the one where, where uh, David's on and when they, they drive around. They drive the around, I love yeah. it. The yeah. road trip. Yeah, yeah. BBC Two in the afternoons. Yeah. So, yeah. anyway, did did yeah. you get a hard time off them? No, no, no and why no. should I? Is no, you should Somebody, because I, I, I did a follow-up video because The Sun interviewed me and I said to The Sun, tongue-in-cheek, what are they going to do, cancel Santa next? Well, I got an email after it appeared in The Sun from someone saying, thanks for bringing this to the public's attention. Mm. By the way, they have cancelled Santa and the oh, Santa no. Squad. Well, don't and go the, and to the... Bose Museum or Barnard Castle anymore. Focus. No, but I do you remember when that it. Santa is fat, isn't it? Soon they'll be saying, well, no, he's obese, we must make... Like, do you, remember, you see what they did to Captain Birdseye? He used to be a salty yeah. sea dog, and now he's a very handsome, yeah. well-groomed bit. That's not Captain Birdseye. Yeah. He's it's a salty sea do. dog, man. We get so no. many complaints, don't we, about being too good looking to be on telly. Well, that's why, that's why yeah. we're yeah. on radio. And really. now we've got David on, he's just as good looking as we are. He's got your hair, well, same we've got my brother's James. He's yeah. got your beard, my so hair. I'm here style. with right said friend. I know, it's a great combination. Yeah. yeah, man. We could be brothers with a half brother in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> but, um, I mean, on a serious note, this is just the most appalling, ridiculous, oh, and stupid thing. Oh, it's awful. And mm. whoever and you know made it's... that. Go on. It's, it's awful, not only for, you know, the town. I find it embarrassing yeah. that we're, 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 we're shunning the word Christmas, oh, first of all. Oh, oh. But it's awful. I've had Go a on. thought. Have that's, you? I've had a thought. That's a, it's just been came years, into my head like that's this. been years. Was it Dominic Cummings when he went to get his teeth fixed? Did he do this? Yeah, his eyes test. He goes there to get his eyes tested. Like, I tell you what, no matter what you think about Dominic Cummings, he brought multi millions of pounds of tourism to Barnard mm. Castle after his visit. You <laughs> couldn't write a check. And people with eye problems as well. Yes. But talk, <laughs> they think and that was it's good, good marketing. Yeah. yeah. That, was, good. that was good marketing Very for Barney, good. we call it. 
Well, for, I, for the it's a lovely, who, it's a lovely, ta a lovely place to go to, Bunnock. Wasn't good marketing for Dominic Cummings. They've got some really nice old coffee yeah. shops. I mean, I used to live up in North Yorkshire. And we'll just make a coffee. And quite yeah. often, when I was driving, driving back up from so you, London, is that I, how you're selling it? You can get I, a nice coffee there. Oh, it? it's a nice. It's got the best oh, art yeah. collection this side of London, outside of uh, London. Yeah. It's All true. sorts of reasons. You but nobody, go a cup of no one's going to go to the Bowser Museum now because they've kicked yeah, they've Christmas, Christmas out. like Scrooge. Yeah. I mean, supposing there, there's a nice near me every year. There's a nice French Christmas market. Yeah. And they come, mm. they come from France and they set yes. up all their stores. I love all that. Yeah. Lovely, love it. There's the German one in Birmingham. They're, I think it's Hamburg or is it Frankfurt? Yeah. Well, they sell Frankfurt. But it's, but it's an exciting time maybe for children. So now that they've cancelled Santa, so the kids aren't going to be taken to Bose Museum oh. because there's no Santa, which yeah. means the dealers, the traders who are paying good money to be there, because at the end of the day, guys, this is a commercial venture for the traders who are yeah. making... Open, well, Christmas these yeah. days is a commercial venture. Oh, we've got to go. Of course um, it is. Listen, if you're in London sometime, come and join us and uh, we'll bring some antiques in. Well, I've got him always. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much indeed, David. Uh, we've got to take a break for I'll the news. I'll give you 30 quid for that stick. At <laughs> 8 o'clock. Uh, we're going to take a break for the news. Loads of calls. Come back with calls. Uh, come back with... Um... We've got Johnny Siegfried on, it looks like. That'll be good. No. Lizzie Cundy's Lizzie going to be Cundy, there. yeah. Yeah. Uh, but first we'll take the news. He yeah. doesn't think I can hit it. Back in three. Want to get to grips with the stories that really matter? To cut through the spin and the BS. Want unvarnished and fiery debate? Then join us for Crosstalk. One o'clock every weekday. He's the world's most famous influencer, now facing heinous criminal allegations. The Matrix has attacked me. After three months in jail and months under house arrest... Freedom, alas. <laughs> Andrew Tate returned to Uncensored. I think my sister is her husband's property. Do you regret saying it like that? A woman is given to the man in marriage. Andrew, you're simply wrong. A world exclusive. This is Talk TV. We're here! Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. We're on your smart speaker as well. Criminals to using XL bully dogs as weapons to threaten others. No matter how well trained, most dog owners will tell you a dog can turn. Do you know what I love about Talk Today? We do it all. Sunak, Suella, scones. I rather like David Cameron. I don't sort of bear him any ill will because he delivered the referendum that he said he would deliver. The Tories love a scrap. You can almost see this coming round the tracks with Suella Braverman. She's heading up one side and Rishi soon at the other. The police are pro-Palestine. That is just not right. You swear an oath in the police to act without fear or favour. The Covid inquiry seems to have turned into a sort of pantomime. There's not really any substance to it. It's hard to know whether it's a farce or a tragedy. For the amount of time it's taken, the number of illegal migrants currently sent by us to Rwanda, zilch. The amount of money it's cost, we're saying, what are we saying it's cost? About 140 million. 140 million pounds so far. So 140 million pounds, so far result, nil, absolutely nil. Are we only going to be trusting sources like Meta and Google? Where is our unbiased news going to come from? Calais in winter is cold. <laughs> <laughs> that is from the Jeremy Corbyn book. Kevin O'Sullivan is the worst presenter on talk TV. Sitting on his fat ass, <laughs> talking for a living. If you're walking towards me and you're a vegan, you should have a great big orange sticker over here saying, watch out, vegans about. The weirdest plank that we've had in, what, yeah. three years? Hundreds and hundreds of mice in a box, which he walks into a branch of McDonald's. McMouse Man. McMouse Man, yeah. McMouse Man. He should be easy enough to catch this guy, shouldn't he? I mean, he's got a house full of mice. He's on the <laughs> <laughs> This is a major summit. President Biden decided this was important after watching a Tom Cruise film. Sunak and the current Conservative government are not conservative. Why don't you leave that party and come to one that actually shares oh, your ideology? This has been a party political broadcast uh, on behalf no, of I the don't. Reform UK party. Hi, I'm Ofcom. Just, just... Kids think all they have to do is take pictures of everything. Just shut down TikTok. Problem solved. This is really unfair. What's, what, what's unfair? If it's on camera, we're not doing interviews. Yes, I'm going to do. I'm you're, going to, you're going to resign? Yes, because I cannot continue my work. When I say I am God, I'm not joking. Did you feel Elvis was controlling? I've been answering your question, you answer mine. It's actually not my job to answer your questions. 
Are you prepared you? to call is Hamas possible, a terror group? Is it possible to have a rational you can't, discussion can you? with you? I've asked you two questions. Should Hamas stay in power and are they a terror group? You're refusing to answer either of them. They that won't. is very telling. Talk TV. It's the only place where you get the truth. You've done a book on poetry. Poetry and music for the many. I love poetry. We can agree on that. This is Talk TV. They're the world's most controversial brothers now facing heinous criminal allegations. The Matrix has attacked me. After three months in jail and months under house arrest... Freedom, at last. <laughs> Andrew and Tristan Tate return to uncensored. I think my sister is her husband's property. Do you regret saying it like that? A woman is given to the man in marriage. Andrew, you're simply wrong. A world exclusive. New primetime show on Talk TV and Radio, 7 o'clock Saturday night, James Whale Unleash. I don't need you coming in here, following me around with a car. I'm so sorry about this. Saturdays at 7 on Talk TV. I quite like that. Yeah. It's a twist, that's, isn't it? That's not bad. But if you find the old James Well themes... Come on, Lizzie. Uh, oh, Lizzie Cundy's here. Yeah, yeah Show us how to do the twist. Come on, Lizzie. Do the twist and show. Oh, no, twist again. Uh, right, welcome to the James Well Show featuring What's-His-Face and uh, featuring uh, Lizzie Cundy, who is our chief social commentator. Political commentator. Um, Megan because Markle everybody's expert. a commentator now, so we thought Lizzie should be one. I mean, there's so many people you've never heard of. Never that's why she's dressed conservatively. They go on TV... And radio to an extent, yeah, yeah. and they. Uh, Anyone can be one. And if you want to get on the air, be a commentator on something. Political commentator, you oh. find. Political just... commentator. Well, I was rag, yeah. wag, and now royal, Megan now Martin political. Expert. Yeah, all of them. So, anyway, listen, if you're a new viewer, you just turned on because there is rubbish on the TV on a Saturday night. This program's live. You can call us. The number's on the TV screen on the radio at 0344. 499-1000. We are not a cuddly, warm little program. We are a little bit over the top and some people get very upset and complain because we're a bit rude here it? and there. And I have to keep reminding ourselves we're not on after 10, so I have to... Mm. Yes, if you don't like getting offended, then yeah. uh, leave the room now. Yeah. Now, um, let's talk, first of all, uh, with your... Uh, your, um, your Social commentator hat with a yeah. social commentary hat on. Yeah. No. Let's talk about the National Trust. Now, yes. you would think, wouldn't you, the National Trust couldn't harm anyone. Mm. But going back to what we were last talking about at Barnard Castle, don't go there or the Bowser Museum because they've cancelled Christmas because they're stupid and thick. Mm. And you want to get in charge. I don't think that's illegal to call people stupid or No, it's not. No, it isn't. And I'm very upset with this because my mum used to work, was a volunteer yeah. at the National Trust. Mm. And, um, I'm I really have never shocked. understood, by the way, just before you say this, why so many people are volunteers. I've had friends who volunteered at the National Trust. They have loads of money. They make loads, yeah. Yeah. Well, Mum did it for the love of the National mm. Trust. Mm. And let me tell you, she's listening tonight and she's livid. Hi, Mum. She's she livid. Gloria. And right, the Gloria. National Trust uh, calendar has gone all woke on us and is mm. excluding Christmas mm. and Easter um, from now on. And I just think that's... Absolute I'm not surprised because they've been captured madness. and infiltrated. Don't you remember about a couple of years ago they were going shutting off statues and putting little signs going, this statue yeah. is terrible, you shouldn't even be looking and putting stuff like that on our own British heritage. And obviously history changes, views change over time. Oh, but I just, I think it's appalling and this white it madness is. has got to stop and sadly if Keir Starmer gets in there's going to be more of this. Has she cancelled her membership then? She's cancelled her membership, Good. no longer going to go yeah. and I think many... Other people feel the same. And it's also cheaper if you get National Trust membership in foreign countries. It's actually mm. cheaper than if you're uh, it, yeah, British. I'm cancelled. I have got... Lady W and I have one. It'll be cancelled. I've not even bought one in the first you place because I knew this was going to happen. Well, you don't That's like parting with any How money. to get exactly, in yeah. over the I'll fence. i on the back fence. Can I just say, uh, if you work for the National Trust, that is the most disgusting, despicable, mm. deplorable thing the National I Distrust. have ever known somebody, an organisation who is in charge of some of our most beautiful buildings and gardens, mm. who now has decided to become all woke. Yes. This is Britishness that you mm. are absolutely destroying. You know, the National Trust 
Never mind about what religion people are or what colour they what are. What happened in the past? It's a frigging yeah. national e e explanation e of being British, and I am so angry, so flipping angry with the National Trust. You, Carol the people Andrews. who run the yeah, National yeah. Trust, Furious. need to be ashamed of yourselves, and quite frankly, I think people will turn away, not go, and somebody else, somebody, someone with loads of money maybe take over the National yeah. Trust. English exactly. heritage, what about yeah. it? All this anti-British, um, anti... Because they're thick They're captured they're like stupid. all institutions, and, these and charities me, and institutes, all been captured. And another one that I'm going to say to get the sack is, is Sir Mark <laughs> Rowley, yeah. um, who, yeah. who, said, who, who did nothing about those terrible He's protesters lost control of the streets, hasn't he? Mm. On our sacred war memorials. Yeah. And he and, had the audacity to be smug in in front of the TV cameras, mm. and and almost have a sort of stupid smile yeah. on his face, and you go, oh, I can't see any law. Actually, well, you can no walk. Actually, up. law against it's actually yeah, it's it's cultural vandalism. Well, there's plenty of laws, you know, dis public disturbance. It's a there's lots of laws that and, re and respect our cultures, you know, and it's just this. That's our sacred war memorials. Yeah, and they're walking, walking all, all over it. it. And the police did nothing. Mm. Yet the police stopped me on the way here. What for? For, not, for going over 21 miles oh, an hour. Well, you are a serial offender. Off. Right. They keep, let me you, off. You do keep doing they it. let you they off. They let me off. They let oh, me yeah, off. I was on Park it. Lane. There was a load of other stuff going on yeah. with protesters. Did you have any more trouble from the protesters? I, I didn't today, no. I get well away. Yeah. But so they let you I off. I mean, that just shows that. how useless they are, actually. They Our let you producer's off. getting so cross out there. He's shouting in my earpiece, going on, I can't believe they did that. They did, but... They did a bloody good job here, though. They did a great job downstairs. Yeah, but, but fancy... They... Well, they stopped Lizzie because they saw her in the car. No, no, no. But... And they don't want to be caught... You can't but... call them policemen. They're all going woke. But she's a serial offender. She needs to be nipped in the bud. This is the fourth mm. time she's done it in two days. Hold on, 21 miles an hour? You and the There's Archbishop. No crime. No. Um, and a few things have got on my goat this week. What? Apart from Mark Rowley. I didn't know you well, had goat. Yeah, but the National the Trust is really... It's disgusting me. Disgusting me. Now, oh, by the way, friend of yes. ours, Susie Kennedy, you know, the best uh, yes, Marilyn Monroe, she is. who is a born-again Christian, she rang in very furious and said, Ken is not a Christian. You Absolutely James right. James used to have a go. Absolutely Why right. Why did she say that? Well, well he, had a, he, he, he had a go. He had a go at me and hoped I'd burn in hell. Oh, because he was taking us out to eat, I thought. But that, that is what he believes. I, mean. I wouldn't go out yeah. with him. Oh, well, he's going to try and convert you. He's, he's a pillar. He's not ever going well, to be allowed back on meal, though, free, free lunch. I'm, I'm not that free lunch. No, I'm not such that thing as a free lunch. No, I don't want to go Ash out for lunch with him. Ash has already agreed to it. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, don't Susan. bother, Ken. You know, I'm going to actually talk to the bosses here and make sure you're not allowed on the air again. Now, another one that's got my goat, endometriosis, the charity... Do you know? Hang on. Let's Your take. goat's got endometriosis. Do you Which know what endometriosis is? Yeah, actually, yeah, I had a friend oh. who had that. It's very painful, it's very and it can painful cause problems with pregnancy in, in the future. In the womb, and you get real bad pains. So thankfully, mm. I've never suffered from it. But um, the charity has appointed a trans woman as their CEO. Oh, you can't complain about that. Well, that's a good idea. No, that's no, you idea. can't complain because about he, that. Because he probably knows a lot, but he's not biased. And yeah. how is this trans woman to know actually mm. what this feels like? Is, well, you and wouldn't I, say that to I, the I, surgeon who's going to treat on, you for hang it, Hang on a minute. So are you suggesting that and, and, and a trans person doesn't have a vagina and, and so... You can, get them, do you, you can get them put in. Shut up. Do you think that Doctors, we'll surgeons, um, people who are in these positions should, for in, I'm, tr I'm trying to word this properly mm. so nobody Spit gets upset. Do you, do you think that every gynaecologist should be a woman? Look, I no, of course not. But well, I do. Not? But I do actually feel more comfortable if it is a woman, and yeah. I think you should have the choice. I, I know, and, and I, would... I get asked if, if if you mind if it is a man, and I would say no. And I if I had prostate problems, I would only want a man. Really? Yeah. But usually you're asked... What does that say? Aren't, are you given a choice? <laughs> are you Why given... do you want a man to do it? <laughs> Can you take this seriously? I'm taking it very seriously. I've got my... You can't I'm say not... that. But... <laughs> so you don't want a woman to... No. And I, I understand that. I agree with you. You understand it. I do. But if, if, um, if it was a trans man... They'd have bigger fingers as well, wouldn't they? <laughs> I mean, the men do. You've so, got the little finger. That also if says it, something. Can you it? both it shut up? The little finger. If it was a trans man and and uh, he behaved as a man, I wouldn't bother me. 
What, a trans man? Yeah, as long as he looked like a bloke. A trans was woman. A bloke, what about a trans woman? I don't think I'd want a bloke with a beard and a dress. That I find difficult. Mm. And I actually understand exactly what you're saying. Um, like the Eurovision if, guy. If, you wouldn't want she, the Eurovision guy. woman knows... A, a woman who wasn't born as a woman, trans... You know, I've got to be so careful. Yeah. Um, knows the job, is the best for the job. Then... But they will never know how a woman feels, what that feels no, like. No, no, And yeah. what it's like to have But no would a woman who hadn't had it. But it, I just think that we are raising women, and, yeah. and it's another thing where I'm scared about Keir Starmer getting in, yeah. who doesn't know what a woman is, and I think, <laughs> slowly, there's this war on women. Yeah. Oh, that's happened, you, I mean... Did you see the, 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 the woman darts player who walked out when they that against a trans woman. Look at that on the screen. Didn't put their name. Lock up Cundy and throw away the key. Why do you have women shall, play different darts to I men? Shall I read her the number out and tell board, people right? to phone them? Yeah. <laughs> Who is it? I want Lizzie to For be arrested. <laughs> speedy. Yeah. You want Lizzie to be arrested? Yeah. Oh, Thank you yeah. very much. I'm sure there are a few that do. But I didn't do anything wrong and I didn't break the law. Exactly. But it was something well, that did. really upset me. And I think you drove at 21 over the, that, the legal Another limit. thing is... is it's illegal. It is, it's illegal. It's illegal yeah. to go at 21. Yeah. Well, yeah. they let me go. Let's go back. Listen, let's go back to this trans Typical. thing because I think it, it is an interesting point that a lot of us feel happy. I mean, if I'm not going to go into what they do if you might have a prostate problem, but I'd rather it was a man than a woman, wouldn't you? And I, likewise, I would imagine if I was a woman um, and I was being given smear tests and things like mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. I would want another mm -hmm. woman to do it. Yes. Yeah. Because they understand yeah. they've had to have it done yeah. as well. Who has done your smear tests, would you? Oh, shut And I think you've got to be sensitive, and it feels mm. like yeah. there is this war on women. Oh, there is. Raised. Because, of course, a, a, you know, look at it in sport, a, a trans woman can obviously beat women because of their physical advantage, but it's never going to happen the other way around. Exactly. I mean, it's like a new type of um, sexism, isn't it? Yes. It's I mean, come from a different place to the, the one from the 60s and the 50s. I was married to a sportsman who played football. I couldn't play football <laughs> against Jason. He was far stronger Stay where you are, Lizzie. Me. We'll get our lawyers. But it's true. They're waiting it is DNA. Oh, no, they're, and, they're in the building. And look, sadly... They're in the building. Who's in the building? The police. Oh. You can't hear it, can you? No. no it's only they here? No. You yeah, they're they're on their way. Yeah, the they're there. Thank you. That's enough of that, honestly. Let's uh, talk... Sorry, I've, yes. just before we run out of time. Uh, let's talk about The Crown. It's coming back. Everybody's well, getting very excited. Very excited. I'm um, not, I've I yet to see less. it. Yeah. But apparently they say... Uh, well, it's Princess well, Diana's We've got death. a little taste. Would you like to see the trailer oh, before we talk about it? Oh, I'd love to see a trailer. Yeah, yes, let's uh, roll the trailer. The press are on our tails constantly. All one wants is for that girl to find peace. Mommy, you okay? I'm okay. It's just. Do you remember the you night get violent that, Diana that with me again? Violent. Do you remember we went down? Yeah, yeah. Um, I, do I went down to Harrods where a lot of people were because she was mm. going out with Dodie L. Fired, mm. and we went down to Harrods and took some flowers at two o'clock in the morning, didn't yeah. we? Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, that was a long time ago. I think everyone I, remembers where they were. <clears> when we were on the air, happened. and uh, yeah. But I think the thing is that this is a dramatization, and I think you have to remember. Mm. That you know, but people are getting very upset about the diner bit. Well, Come. they're getting very upset, and she, and the actress Elizabeth Debicki looks unbelievably like her, a I brilliant know. actress, and think the best played Princess yeah, Diana. Yeah. But the worry is, mm. and this is obviously a big hit in the states. People believe it's true. Yeah. It's not. This no. is a drama, a drama yeah. and also in it, which is, uh, and I don't want to do a, sto uh, a spoiler alert, Diana comes back as a ghost, yeah. and I think that's very insensitive, and we've heard mm. about ha Prince Harry's mental health problems and yeah. all of that. Yeah, but and he I didn't think... deal with Netflix, the people that are doing can you, this. Can we stop going on about she's Harry and Meghan, because I think they have a lot an to do with No, but what I'm yeah. saying, yeah. I actually feel yeah. for him, because yeah. it must be quite upsetting, and it's quite insensitive. I would insensitive. imagine it is. But he does see, business with them. You see the people... do business with them. Just shut up. Yeah, but your late mother coming back as a ghost. Would you like that on the TV? Now? Well, I wouldn't do business with them, would Sadly, I? Sadly, people watching this, um, it, it think it's real Here's life. The this question. is a drama. After it's... all these years of the media, all these years now of social media, why is it that so many people are taking it? You know, we've, we've got people marching through the streets at the moment because of things they've read on social media, things yeah. they've seen on the it's news. responsible for a lot of bad things. And yeah. we have to understand that not everything we see on a TV screen or read in a newspaper or hear on the radio, um, 
it's a point of view. So it's wrong if you watch the BBC a, and Sky News. A lot yeah. of it is incorrect. In a news, news. A news bulletin, well, you hope that it, they are reporting it as it is. But lots of discussion on social media, and people are just giving their 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 views, mm. and and some people are believing the most ridiculous. I have. Uh, what's his name? Piers Corbyn on uh, having yeah. a, oh, well, a shouting match. Uh, he, he said, "Oh, October the seventh wasn't really." Yeah, I mean, we had Peter Touch on yesterday. He said it, Israel doing indiscriminate bombings. Carpet. This I mean, is it. It was, they're just and, talking. And Falseness. Sadly, on these protests, March, it's really a blurred protest. You keep throwing it? lies and people just believe it. Half it's constant them lies. don't know the facts and don't no. know what they're mm. marching they don't about because the they're, they're, they're are. listening to a load of rubbish. Yeah. Yeah. But sadly, this this crown um, on Netflix, which everyone is raving about, and yeah. the likeness, as I said, or, and of Dodie is incredible, but this isn't factual. It's mm. it's it's a drama. But we know one of the crown guys, that Dodie's mm. uncle in it, don't we? He yeah. comes on quite a lot. Yeah, it's amazing. But, actor. you know, they're... they're the, the people do make dramas about uh, something that happened in history. It's like a Dallas sort of thing. Yeah, the and they're not, family, they're not all Dallas. strictly... Because nobody can know what the conversations some people had in private. No one knows. No. Well, it is guessed. At all. But a lot of them like The Crown, the old ones, because it taught people history. But now it's modern day. Well, it's, it's a bit... Now, it's changed, it's dynamic. It's not true. And, yeah, and true, my yeah. friend that worked with Diana was very close to her. Just said the likeness is incredible, even mm. the voice, her mannerisms, the actress has got it well, so Well, you must have known her. You must have known I, her. I very luckily ran into Princess Diana because she was at the Brompton Hospital. My friend had cystic fibrosis. Tell us the, tell us the story. And I ran in... And she was running out and she had a baseball well, hat she on. saw you, she legged it out. She yeah, bumped she into said, her. She said, are you Lizzie Cundy? And, uh, she did <laughs> not. <laughs> no, but you she was, are a liar. Can I just tell you, Go she on. was great at doing charity, not winning any <laughs> yeah. fun fair, yeah. a, a, a slap on the back. She, she was supposed to cuddle was, AIDS babies she, and stuff like she that. She saved them, the yeah. royal family at that time. She did indeed. And then after she died, the royal family had a very, very difficult time because they were suddenly thrust into the... Line oh. and they didn't really know they how looked to cold. Didn't well, they but yeah. it, the Queen herself brought it back and brought it round. And Charles, I think, a bit did and, very well. And when Camilla joined, everybody was really upset. I, I won't. We would talk to Gates. Oh, well, yes. how can she? You know, and she has done amazing work. She has done amazing, amazing work. work. And as I said last week, I was lucky enough to meet her at the Field of Remembrance, and she was absolutely wonderful. Spoke to every single person All right. there. We're going to take a break, and when we come back, Henry Bolton, who was in last week. Uh, will be with us and uh, we'll find out what he actually wanted to talk about last week when he couldn't. Ever feel like you're not part of the conversation? That you're not getting the full picture on the important issues? Or the stories that impact your life? Jim, who was on in the last hour waiting a year for a heart operation, blew us out of the water. Well, at Talk TV, we cover the issues you care about. I would love to give the nurses a massive pay rise. Give them one, then. With proper debate and argument, we tell it how it really is. And have some fun along the way. Talk TV for the stories that matter. We're here. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. We're on your smart speaker as well. Criminals to using XL bully dogs as weapons to threaten others. No matter how well trained, most dog owners will tell you a dog can turn. Do you know what I love about Talk Today? We do it all. Sunak, Suella, scones. I rather like David Cameron. I don't sort of bear him any ill will because he delivered the referendum that he said he would deliver. The Tories love a scrap. You can almost see this coming round the tracks with Suella Braverman. She's heading up one side and Rishi Sunak the other. The police are pro-Palestine. That is just not right. You swear an oath in the police to act without fear or favour. The COVID inquiry seems to have turned into a sort of pantomime. There's not really any substance to it. It's hard to know whether it's a farce or a tragedy. For the amount of time it's taken, the number of illegal migrants currently sent by us to Rwanda, zilt. The amount of money it's cost, we're saying, what are we saying it's cost? About 140 million. 140 million pounds so far. So 140 million pounds so far result nil, absolutely nil. <laughs> Are we only going to be trusting sources like Meta and Google? Where is our unbiased news going to come from? Calais in winter is cold. <laughs> <laughs> that is from the Jeremy Corbyn book. Kevin O'Sullivan is the worst presenter on talk TV. <laughs> Sitting on his fat ass, <laughs> talking for a living. <laughs> if you're walking towards me and you're a vegan, you'll have a great big orange sticker over here saying, watch out, vegan's about. 
weirdest plank that we've had in what, yeah. three years. Hundreds and hundreds of mice in a box, which he walks into a branch of McDonald's. McMouse Man. McMouse Man, yeah. McMouse Man. He should be easy enough to catch this guy, shouldn't he? I mean, he's got a house full of mice. He's on <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is a major summit. President Biden decided this was important after watching a Tom Cruise film. Sunak and the current Conservative government are not conservative. Why don't you leave that party and come to one that actually shares oh, your ideology? This has been a party political broadcast uh, on behalf no, of I the don't. Reform UK party. Hi, I'm Ofcom. Just, just... Kids think all they have to do is take pictures of everything. Just shut down TikTok. Problem solved. This is really unfair. What's, what, what's unfair? If it's on camera, we're not doing the interview. Yes, I'm going to do. I'm you're, going to, you're going to resign? Yes, because I cannot continue my work. When I say I am God, I'm not joking. Did you feel Elvis was controlling? I've been answering your question, you answer mine. It's actually not my job to answer your questions. Just Are you prepared you. to call is Hamas a have, terror group? Is it possible to have a rational you can't, can you? I've asked you two questions. Should Hamas stay in power and are they a terror group? You're refusing to answer either of them. They that won't. is very telling. Talk TV, it's the only place where you get the truth. You've done a book on poetry. Poetry and music for the many. I love poetry, we can agree on that. He's the world's most famous influencer, now facing heinous criminal allegations. The Matrix has attacked me. After three months in jail and months under house arrest... Freedom, at last. <laughs> Andrew Tate returned to Uncensored. I think my sister is her husband's property. Do you regret saying it like that? A woman is given to the man in marriage. Andrew, you're simply wrong. A world exclusive. No, you will. No, you will be in trouble. If... Sorry, that's my knee. Someone's very squeaky. Yeah, it's yes. a bad back. Sorry, welcome back to the James Well Show. Prime time on uh, Saturday. Can you get a WD forty? Saturday night, <laughs> seven o'clock until ten. Welcome to the only live three-hour show on TV. But if you're easily offended by squeaky chairs or the fact that our assistant producer just gave us 10 seconds before we're back on air i've sorted him <laughs> is he not an ap what is he no, oh he's, he's, a tech op. he's a tech op forget yeah. it. he's not even um uh, ian in rumney hello ian he's uh, sent me a text he said is it right your mother uh, used to live in rumney in the world yeah. welsh valley so my mum was born in rumney mm. um and that's um mm. that's Rumney. Rumney. Rumney is a nice nice name to get around. Anyway, right, look who's back on the show. Yay. Henry Bolton is back on the show. Hello, good evening. Hey. Now, Henry came in. <laughs> it's not the Steve Wright show. Henry came, yeah, do you know? That, we don't uh, do that. Even though Steve Zoo copied radio, our show, so. even though um, we, it's a bit old-fashioned. It's vulgar. Right? Yeah, it vulgar. is vulgar. So, anyway, yeah, good, good. Just talk it's and say how much. Patronising. We're doing well, and well, anyway, right, right. You keep throwing me now. Henry Bolton came in last week to talk about the British Flag Day. Well, partly, yeah. yes, yes. I yes. am still wearing my right, poppy, good man, because you're not I meant to, are you? I know. No. Well, I'm wearing it to make vulgar, the point it? that right. there are too many people who are wrong, wandering around our streets being anti-British, mm. and I'm getting friggin' Precisely. fed up with it. Mm. If you don't want to be British. Bugger off. It's so dead simple. So it's you I don't know. have to be here. So you can go somewhere else. All these people breaking in illegally into mm. our country obviously want to be here. Mm. Uh, you've got something to say. You know the number. It's on the screen. If you're listening on talk radio, it's zero. It's not on the screen. Why not? They put it under my finger. There you are. Uh, <laughs> zero three four four <laughs> four nine Magic. nine Magic. one thousand. And, and could you keep it on the screen? Honestly, never mind what the producer says. What did you do that Sorry, for? Sorry, because it fell. That's her name. Last week, we had a guest on the programme um, who went mental, really. He did. He he's kept back touching this, he's back this It's not me, that one. No, no yeah. And he, he kept, broke the chair. He, he kept touching the microphone. Well, I've never seen Henry like that It before. is a bit wonky, though. <laughs> so this is a clip 
uh, of light. what happened last week. Have a look at this. You get violent like that with me again. Violent? That is I'll, violent. I'll call You're the police. Someone violent. call the police because I was really violent to this guy. Why don't break. you just go away? I'll because, get out of here, no problem, you know, bro. I'm sorry, I, if you don't I, want to be fair, I'm it's fine. Why are you at some again? Because He's you're the one that started the beef. Mate. You're the one that started the beef, Yeah, you see, you've got a problem, haven't you? I was violent towards you, right? Can we call security? This man has just been violent. Just go. Just go. If you want to give a fair platform to people to come speak, then they can come speak. But if you want to villainise someone that's We're coming to a break a, a message of peace, now. you villainise me as yeah. if I'm a bad oh, guy. Yeah. Nobody's villainised me. I know, look, I know I'm you're not a bad guy. You, you are just young. Talking, yeah, I'm upset, talking crap, bro, really. because oh, you think I'm talking crap. Well, you're, you're, Why you're are you so threatening? Why is it? You're, right, you're being threatening. I'm just sat across the table, bro. What have I done? I'm going to get you. It's ridiculous. If we're going to a break, there's something I'd like to say. Look, you're upset. There are a lot of people in this country who are upset. I was in tears earlier because I went to the cenotaph uh, with uh, with my young stepson and uh, to show him the cenotaph. It's surrounded by coppers. Okay, the whole place is protected. That monument is a monument to people who gave their lives to protect this country, and now we are in London protecting their monument. The mo mm. uh, we'll be talking to uh, Henry in a moment. Peace. Uh, negotiator extraordinaire after that little bust up on um, we turned out we had a nice photo well, at the know, end now he's all right actually yeah, he had a nice photo with us Uncle at the Goom. end of the he, uh, interview he was outside afterwards looking at the Waiting kind of clicks he had he was very <laughs> That's very was happy about, with it's himself it's, 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 we did about five million on that last well, week uh let's take a break pounds and breaky um are I thought you said take a break. We had a break. Oh, we? no, that was on the bit we saw before. <laughs> <laughs> that was like reality, and on that... on, on the hallucinating. Do you know, I'm the plot. <laughs> yeah. Do you know, I am actually a bit, I think. Uh, Henry, welcome back to the programme. Thank program. you. Um, and a lot of people were very, very uh, positive about mm. you and saying, what a great... But you that used to work as... Um, you were in the military, mm -hmm. and you did work for a while, didn't you, with the UN, I think? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Um, and, and actually for the European Union. And what did you do for the UN and the UN? Well, I, uh, for, for the United Nations, I was a district governor in Kosovo, so I ran mm. part of Kosovo. Yeah. The military, the policing, the schools, the hospitals, the roads, the, the, you name it, I ran it because yeah. there was no government at that point. The UN was tasked to, to do that. But the, the ceasefire work that I did was actually in a different role. Mm. Uh, I was the chief of opera field operations for the international ceasefire uh, verification or monitoring mission in the Republic of Macedonia. Mm. And in that role, the Albanians were fighting the Macedonians. Um, they were a bit feisty in those days, the Albanians, sort of fighting a lot of people in that area. And there was a... a there were there was a requirement really to stabilize the whole situation and the only way we could do that was by reasserting mm. government macedonian government control onto the conflict areas and to do that we had to get the albanians or i had to get the albanians to put their guns down and mm. stop fighting when you so spoke to a, quite an, an albanian thing. did you ever get anyone go off quite like he did or not uh yeah occasionally That's i've been sat cool. on the side of the road for 45 minutes with my hands on my head well, they're discussing whether or not to shoot me. Um, that was the chair, by the way. Um, the, uh, which was quite an interesting conversation. But then they realised that I knew their boss quite well. Mm. And uh, then they... Are we ever, they ever going to be able to sort these problems out mm. in the world at the moment I, without demonstrations of people who actually have no idea what they're talking I, I about? Think, I think there's ceasefire, but it's, it's easy to well, say the word ceasefire. Well, there's, there's two a... different things. There's a ceasefire... Well, uh, to answer your, your question, James, um, no, look, there's always going to be evil out there. Mm. There are always going to be people who are manipulated by people who want power or money mm. to pick up a gun... Um, or, or people who want to perpetuate a religion. There are all sorts of different causes out there, and they are going to manipulate foot soldiers to go out there, pick up a gun, and kill people, sometimes in the most violent, heinous, depraved manner, as we saw on the 7th of October. Yeah. Um, and you know, somebody somewhere actually needs to stand between the people who would do harm and the people to whom they would do it. And that is what infuriated me so much about the, the these people climbing over these monuments, because they are monuments to people who did precisely that. They stood between those people who would do harm and those to whom they would do it. And they they gave their lives doing that. And for these people to climb over those monuments is absolutely outrageous. And, and for the police to not he, do it. Yeah. And they took advantage no. of the, the, of the freedom that was given to them by those absolutely. troops. Absolutely. We, 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 exactly. And we've let them come in here, and yeah. they 
they show absolutely no, no respect yeah. for the, for what actually created the society yeah. and allowed the society that, that they are taking advantage well, of. Well, they want to change to, to as well. And, and, and frankly, the, the way the police rea reacted, I'm yeah. a former police officer as well, and, you know, I would not, I would never have stood by and watched that yes. happen. Yeah. There are various powers. There's something called the, the War Memorials Act. There's something called uh, Article 5 of the Police and uh, the, mm. the, the, the um, Public Order Act, which gives a police officer powers to deal with situations mm. like that. So why do you blame... We're running out of time, and you might not Sorry. get to... We'll do that in yep. a minute. Why on earth are the chief constables and the uh, inspectors and mm. chief inspectors and whatever, they must be the ones who are making these rules? I think they are... There are two problems. They are, yes, you're right, James. Um, but they are... They've got two problems, if I'm fair to them. Mm. One is operational. I understand, now I can't confirm this, but I've got it from two different sources, that the Met Police only have 137 police cells in London now because they've closed them over the mm -hmm. over recent years. Um, not the police, the, the government has. Um, now, if you are going to end up with a mass arrest situation, where are you going to put these people? Exactly. That's a problem. That's an operational consideration. But the other thing is <clears throat> that who's going to blame them if it all kicks off? Mm -hmm. And in the past years, we have had a propensity in this government, uh, in, in this country, both politicians and the media and the public, to hammer anybody who comes down on anything that might be perce perceived as freedom of expression, freedom of speech, mm. freedom of religion, or whatever. Um, and you know, uh, I mean, we all know, if we're, if we're realistic about it, that, that if the police ended up making 300 arrests at one of these rallies, one of these protests, the police would come in for so much criticism from the yeah. Labour Party, from the but Liberal Democrats, from the SNP, from part of the media. But they should police without, you know, Wait, hang on, so, hang on. Totally we've only agree. got a couple of minutes left. Right. And I want Henry, uh, you've made really good points there, but I think half the people who are police at the moment shouldn't have been allowed in the police force. I see fat ones, short yeah, ones, yeah, and skinny story, ones, yeah. and that's... There's a whole thing about that. We'll talk about that. Um, trouble, thank they? you. You came in to primarily push what? Well, uh, National Flag Day. Yeah. And I, James, I, I saw all of these flags mm. belonging to other nations being marched down our streets, um, and I, I thought, hang on a minute, these are the streets of Great Britain, of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Where is our flag in all of this? Yeah. You know, and over the years... Again, we've been told that the, the Union flag, the Union Jack, is a symbol of the right. Absolute rubbish. It doesn't complete, belong to the right, the left, rubbish. the centre. Yeah. It is the flag of this nation. It is comprised of the, 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 the St George's flag of England, St Patrick's of Northern Ireland, and the St hmm. Andrew's flag of, of Scotland. It belongs to all of us. It is the one thing that unites us. And these people who, who have been climbing over our more war memorials, uh, blocking up our, our, our railway stations and so on, um, they live under the protection of its laws. Mm. They, you know, and Some it, it infuriates me that, to that, actually know what they're I doing. I agree. So what I want to do, and it's obviously going to take time, but I want the British people, whatever our differences, whatever our race, creed, colour, I, I want us to start realising that that is our flag. Mm. It is the one thing that really Where unites us all. Whatever can they our differences. find out about this organisation? Can they go online? It, it's not an organisation, okay. James. At the moment, it, it may well become one. Um, it you, was just something I did off 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 the bat um, because I, unlike many of these protests, I gave the Metropolitan Police the, the statutory. Well, no, I gave them two weeks' notice, and I wanted to get this going be mm. before Remembrance. Parade, uh, day, because if that had kicked off big style, I thought we really need to show that these are the streets mm. of Britain that these yeah. people are abusing. But I think also we need to tell people, and they're thinking of doing mm. this, you know, Christians against anti-Semitism, yep. I think we really need to tell people, intelligent people, wind it in. Yeah. Because this, we are getting these students walking along saying kill all Jews. Yeah. We have Jews in this country who are frightened to take their kids That's to school. That's why there's a Christian against anti-Semitism. No, no, to no. Show it's solidarity too, we support. need, we need all those people. Nick's just sent me a text. He said, "Well said, James. Anyone in Great Britain that has a problem with Great Britain should get the hell out." Oh, no, and maybe we should take these black people to cause a problem. I, 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 I agree. I agree. But but we as the British people need to say, look, you are here in Great Britain. Mm. These are our streets. Protest against your, uh, regarding your concerns yeah. about civilian <clears throat> casualties, but for God's sake, respect our laws, our True. culture, right. here, our here. history I'm and our way of life. Because if you don't, you're not welcome. Stay where you are, we'll take a break.
Oh, no, I thought you. you were yelling at me to take a break. <laughs> God, that's, that's a good way of shutting me up. He loves it? a break. There's no yeah. breaks. There's no breaks. He loves a kick cut. Well, we haven't got long until the break, have we? <laughs> no. No. OK. Um, I, I just urge everybody, James, to be proud of that flag. You well, know, whatever worried. your differences, say, Henry, they are worried, but they've got to stop being... Stop, the both of you, and shush, I'm running out of time. <laughs> oh, uh, right, let's break. break. <laughs> we have in a few minutes, but I've got to squeeze our next guest in. Um, Kevin Lister, the former teacher, has been sacked for misgendering a pupil. Kev... Don't say a word until I tell you you can. Uh, Kevin, welcome to the programme. Thank you. Tell me the story, Kevin. How on earth, what were you a teacher of, by the way? I taught maths, further maths and computing science at uh, New College Swindon. Yep. Uh, I was the programme leader for the um, A-level maths course. And as a young lady like yourself, how did you get into trouble? <laughs> So, first of all, I'm not a young lady. Oh, I'm sorry, a... I misgendered you. Misgendered him. So sorry about that. <laughs> I must arrest you. <laughs> no, you, you misgendered me and you got me age wrong. So, I'm, I'm a, a 60 year old bloke. I, um, I had a 17 year old female student who sent me a fairly short curt message to say that she was now to be referred to as a male, and, and she gave me her new male name and basically demanded that I call her as a he and and, um, and she said in the letter that everybody else is doing the same so it'd be kind of nice and convenient if you do the same as well um, my immediate response to that was to raise a safeguarding concern a formal safeguarding concern so for teachers if you have this uh, uh, you know, there's two things you have to do as a teacher one is you teach truth the other one is you abide by safeguarding if you have a safeguarding concern, you are duty bound to raise that concern to your employer. So I, I, I yeah. followed the uh, um, instruction. I raised the safeguarding concern. I specifically asked three things. I asked, did we have parental consent to do the social transition? Was she making an informed decision? And was there a risk that she would self-medicate with cross-sex hormones, basically mm -hmm. take and testosterone. How did it get to the sorry because time is how did it get to the situation where the school you worked for decided to sack you? What did what did they say? So um I had to sit down in a chat with the with the student. Rather, rather if you just wind back a bit, in the safeguarding response, the college said our policy is not to tell parents that you know they assume that all parents are going to be transphobic bigots. I mean it's a complete nonsense um broad brush sweep of, of, of everyone's parenting their parenting ability in the in the uk mm. so i said well if you're not going to tell the parents i'm not going to go, go go along with this i had a, a short chat with her at the end of a class i said this is an extremely dangerous thing that you're doing it's completely unfounded high risk and you need to make sure you're not getting pushed into it and that, that you are aware of the risks she complained you got sacked when yeah. did you, when did you last work so I last worked in February last year, so 2022. You've been out of work for a year over this ridiculous yeah, yeah. situation. Now, one of the things I, that... Uh, just let me ask some questions to get the answers. So one, we, yeah. um, one of the problems I have is looking at schools going on demonstrations, teachers leading them, mm. uh, teachers filling kids full of ridiculous yeah. stuff like they have with you. Uh, also, you know, telling them not the truth about the history of the world almost in the encouraging them to yeah. think, you know, so why are we now present company accepted why are we now seeming to have so many bad educators in it's, this country because you get cancelled like you don't it's, you if you, if you stand let me, up let me, to let it answer, it's a it's a brilliant question you, you know what you're doing really with that is trying to get to the fundamentals of what's happening here and this yeah you know, i've been reflecting heavily on this since my dismissal well what, what i would suggest as a model to think this through in the 70s to the 90s i think what we had in education was a period of real of, of realism so if someone came along if thatcher came along as the secretary of state for education in the 70s and said i've got a great idea we're going to introduce lgbt in, in the schools it would go nowhere mm. it would be completely laughed out not yet the unions would have kicked it out the teachers would have kicked so it out. so why has it gone so deep into the world of education yeah, now? Right. so yeah so 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 let me answer we come to to the 2000s tony blair uh, comes forward with his education education strategy and say what you like about Tony Blair there was enthusiasm 
for the education system. Some of his, his execution of his plan didn't go according to plan, but generally in the 2000s, education improved year on year on year, and education uh, attainment was improving. Come year 2009, 2010, then the education system changed again, and it did so in a, in a way that was quite, you know, it was only, it wasn't really very, very clear unless you were actually had, had your finger on the pulse. 2009, 2010, the world wakes up to climate change. We introduce in that year, every single school having to, to, to watch the, uh, the Al Gore inconvenient truth yeah. the world wakes up to climate change you have climate change protests up and down down, down, down down the world we have also at that same time the collapse of the copenhagen climate change okay i don't want to get into climate change because it annoys no, no, me no no no, right. no be careful. listen listen to, no, no because no, they're going to cut me off in a minute listen okay, to what i'm going to say in answer to your if question, you carry on that brought, that brought in a yeah. period of what, despair what i want to know is your a quick answer to what we can do about the rubbish left-wing stupid teachers and university lecturers we seem to have adopted in this country. Well, we, we have ended up, we have ended up now with all our institutions, every single institution in the country collapsing at the moment. Mm. Education, health, police, mm. media, political parties, everything is collapsing and the question isn't as you put what can we do about teachers the question is what is the driving force for everything now what i would suggest to you is that from 2010 to 2015 we had the period of emerging despair in the classrooms all of a sudden the kids are getting doped up left right and center on antidepressants as a consequence of that huge despair that was being seen as a consequence of climate change come 2015 when the government and everybody else are trying to find an find some other way out of that despair along comes a trans debate everyone leaps from despair into this trans and, and we end up then moving into this period of psychotic collapse which is a period that we're in now and that has infused every single part of our of our political system our parties our education system and we are now in this hmm. awful downward spiral kevin i've got to go because uh we've run out of time and we actually do have a break um thank you very much indeed for highlighting this i th i really hope mm. that somebody can save the education system of this country and stop influencing our children in such ridiculous and stupid way um lizzie and henry we're going to say goodbye thank you very much mm -hmm. indeed cancelling everyone um, i'm cancelling cancelling everybody everyone because everyone's canceling. elon musk Fly the flag elon musk's dad's <laughs> coming on next <laughs> after this Harold. Harold. It's the world's number one interview show, the new global home of big debates and big questions. This is really unfair. Why? We'll explain why. For all the big names. When I say I am God, I'm not joking. You're going to, you're going to resign? Yeah, of course I cannot continue my work. Did you feel Elvis was a controlling influence on you? And the good news? You've already found it. All new Piers Morgan Uncensored, right here, Monday to Thursday, 8 p.m. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. We're on your smart speaker as well. Criminals using XL bully dogs as weapons to threaten others. No matter how well trained, most dog owners will tell you a dog can turn. Do you know what I love about school today? We do it all. Sunak, Suella, scones. I rather like David Cameron. I don't sort of bear him any ill will because he delivered the referendum that he said he would deliver. The Tories love a scrap. You can almost see this coming round the tracks with Suella Braverman. She's heading up one side and Rishi soon at the other. The police are pro-Palestine. That is just not right. You swear an oath in the police to act without fear or favour. The Covid inquiry seems to have turned into a sort of pantomime. There's not really any substance to it. It's hard to know whether it's a farce or a tragedy. For the amount of time it's taken, the number of illegal migrants currently sent by us to Rwanda, zilt. The amount of money it's cost, we're saying, what are we saying it's cost? About 140 million. 140 million pounds so far. So 140 million pounds, so far result, nil, absolutely nil. Are we only going to be trusting sources like Meta and Google? Where is our unbiased news going to come from? Calais in winter is cold. <laughs> <laughs> that is from the Jeremy Corbyn book. Kevin O'Sullivan is the worst presenter on Talk TV. Sitting on his fat ass, <laughs> talking for a living. 
If you're walking towards me and you're a vegan, you should have a great big orange sticker over here saying, watch out, vegans about. The weirdest plank that we've had in, what, yeah. three years? Hundreds and hundreds of mice in a box, which he walks into a branch of McDonald's. McMouse Man. McMouse Man, yeah. McMouse Man. He should be easy enough to catch this guy, shouldn't he? I mean, he's got a house full of mice. He's on <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is a major summit. President Biden decided this was important after watching a Tom Cruise film. Sunak and the current Conservative government are not conservative. Why don't you leave that party and come to one that actually shares uh, your ideology? This has been a party political broadcast uh, on behalf no, of I the don't. Reform UK party. Hi, I'm Ofcom. Just, just... Kids think all they have to do is take pictures of everything. Just shut down TikTok. Problem solved. This is really unfair. What's, what, what's unfair? If it's on camera, we're not doing the interview. Yes, I'm going to do. I'm you're, going to, you're going to resign? Yes, because I cannot continue my work. When I say I am God, I'm not joking. Did you feel Elvis was controlling? I've been answering your question, you answer mine. It's actually not my job to answer your questions. Just Are you prepared you. to call is Hamas possible, a terror group? Is it possible to have a rational discussion You can't, discussion can you? you? I've asked you two questions. Should Hamas stay in power and are they a terror group? You're refusing to answer either of them. They that won't. is very telling. Talk TV, it's the only place where you get the truth. You've done a book on poetry. Poetry and music for the many. I love poetry, we can agree on that. They're the world's most controversial brothers now facing heinous criminal allegations. The Matrix has attacked me. After three months in jail and months under house arrest... Freedom at last. <laughs> Andrew and Tristan Tate return to uncensored. I think my sister is her husband's property. Do you regret saying it like that? A woman is given to the man in marriage. Andrew, you're simply wrong. A world exclusive. Uh, right, welcome back. Thank you very much indeed. Special guest coming on the programme tonight uh, is Mr Elon Musk's father. And uh, Errol Musk joins us now. Uh, Errol, thank you for taking out the time. Welcome to the programme. Um, you must be a very proud dad. Well, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Well, you know, I've always been a proud dad. I'm not yeah. suddenly a proud dad, but, uh, yeah, I'm proud. Well, today to have day. a to have a son who is uh, the wealthiest man in the world, I mean, must be something pretty special. Well, I don't see it like that. I see it that he's done well, you know. Well, he's a genius, uh, isn't he? I mean, he's he's actually he's taken over from NASA. He's got rockets landing in reverse. Yeah. Looks like the films in reverse. He's making self drive. How is yeah, he such yeah. a genius? Is it come from you? Is it bringing? Is it genetic? Oh, is it nice. environmental? Yeah. Or is he no, just no, one of those I, people? Yes, it's the only viable space uh, facility, launch facility in, in the world. Really viable. It was yes. a big rocket launch today. Did you watch it? Yes. How did you feel? Yes. Well, you know, uh, first of all, you know, I was telling my family, you have to, you know, all very happy to see this event. Mm. Nobody quite aware of the fact that this thing might just blow up on the on the stand, mm. on, the, on, the, on the launch pad. Yeah. And... Um, you know, I kept telling everybody, you know, you know, please hold thumbs, you know, please uh, don't, you know, expect the worst. You won't be disappointed then. Well, that's slightly depressing, and, uh, but OK. Um, and that's how you get, get Would you, if, if Elon got on the phone and said, hey, Dad, would you like a trip on my first rocket, what would you say? Don't do it. Uh, ah, shut no, up. I'd, tell you, I'd go on the fourth or fifth rocket. Exactly. <laughs> Maybe on the fourth or fifth. When it starts, it's definitely working. Yeah. You've um, you've got you've got a, another son as well, haven't you? How's he doing? Is he another genius? Very well. What does he yes, do? Yes, he's very well. My other son is uh, into the food business and uh, whole foods, nutrients, oh, yeah. and such like. He's very big, very very big in that, and uh, yeah, so he's equally successful. I'm told that he's worth about seven hundred million. So he's. Quite a long way behind, but not bad. I mean, so well, you He's like his poor brother, million, isn't he, though, yeah. compared to uh, Elon? Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I think he, he, depending on the share price of Tesla and so on, I think he goes up and down hmm. billion in 800 million. And did you have any shares in Tesla? Do you have any Tesla shares? I should think so. Right? Do you have any shares in Tesla? I have the shares that belong to my son in Tesla. Yeah, but they're uh, his shares. No. 
Well, listen, he's, he's you know. Yeah, yeah if it's yeah, your yeah. sons, it's yeah. yours. Let, are you are you yeah. a genius? Were you uh, were you an inventor or in your in your youth? Uh, well, yeah, I, I did build rockets as a child, and uh, I you know I was more technical than other kids, uh, I suppose. Uh, You're so quite famous quite... yourself in South Africa, aren't you? I've heard as a pilot and sailor. Yes, I'm pretty uh, well known, and yeah. um, I was well known in my field, you know, in electrical mechanical engineering. Do you get yeah. upset when people want to talk to you about Elon? Does it sort of like a, no. a son might get really upset if everybody wants no, to talk no. to him like about Stanley his dad? Stanley Johnson doesn't like Boris yeah. Johnson talking about Boris Johnson. Mm. No, no, I, I, uh, I think my children, all of them, are concerned about being spoken about, and you know, so they say, you know, generally, please don't say anything because it mm. might be misconstrued and all that sort of thing you know yeah, yeah. i believe so they're I, making a movie about uh, elon um yes. will you be in it yes. how do you feel about it who's going to play you well you know i'm I, my you know first let me say that i've been a single man for many years oh, and dear. i've never met a divorced woman who hasn't told me that her husband or ex-husband treated her very badly mm. and uh so I have the situation now that my ex-wife, Elon's mother, has written in books and things that I did all sorts of bad things to her, which are not true at all. Well, they said, didn't and, they, in the book, that you uh, you had an affair with your stepdaughter, I think. No, the, no, that's... It, I had, a, I had, I had a, a relationship with a girl that was my stepdaughter many, many years ago. Hmm. I met her as an adult woman at 30, and we... Um, uh, you know, well, had a, a was he long yeah. cross about that? No, he never said anything to me about oh. it. Never discussed it. Who's your favourite son out of the two? Is he obviously the Sorry? richest? Is is it the richest son that's your favourite? No, no. Well, I, I think Al Pacino oh, should play you. Actually, hang on. The you, I'm I'm getting Harrison slightly Ford. Harrison Ford would be good. Yeah. I'm getting slightly confused. So you father two children. With your yeah. once stepdaughter, yeah, but that's not Elon uh, and his brother, is it? No. Now, how are they doing then? Elon's got loads of kids, hasn't he? Yes. Well, you know, I mean, uh, Elon's really broken the mould. I mean, he's he's got about eleven children. Yeah, we can afford with, it. And is the names what? like X and RS Turbo and stuff like that? Well, that's because of the one mother mm. was very keen on. Those type of names, but the other children are all, you know, have regular names well, like Terry, but so Grimes, the uh, or Claire, you know, oh, that's she awesome. she's a little bit, you know, she's very avant garde, very out there. She, they are, aren't they? Ladies? Yeah, she wants to use hmm. those sort of names. I don't think Elon particularly hmm. minds. He's a pro nativist. He's worried about underpopulation, Elon, yeah. isn't he? That's what he says the big problem is going to be in the future. I mean, if you've, if you've got billions, it doesn't matter how many children you yeah, have, does it, really? You just keep going, can't you? Um, like so, uh, what I wanted to find out before we uh, come to the end of this, though, um, is a relationship you have with those two other stepchildren, daughters, uh, Jenna and Elon, I think. Um, oh, Je Elon, Elon was yeah. upset. No, Jenna... And uh, what is your other uh, daughter called? Rushy. Right. Rush. Do they have a relationship with you still? Do they have a relationship oh. with Elon? Oh, yes, yes. Very big relationship with me, obviously. They're very small, you know, mm. six years, four mm. years. Do so... you have a relationship with Elon? Do you speak to him every now and then? Well, I'm, I'm having supper with him shortly. Oh, All good. Right. Give him our best wishes. Say we think he's great. Oh, if, that's good. I will, I will, thank you. Were you that's, surprised that's when he bought nice. Twitter? Were you shocked? Because everyone was a bit stunned by that, a bit left field. Well, Twitter is a very big uh, issue for us at the moment, for this family, and we just want to make it a success somehow. Yeah, well, it, you know, I think it's, it's good. He's getting I more freedom of speech. Yeah, he's brought I, Trump back. He's brought a lot of people who were banned. And I think it's doing really well. I, I quite like the X now. I didn't like it at the beginning. I like it now. Why has he changed the name? I mean, people still call well, it... Twitter. He bought the, the name X.com about yeah. 20 years ago, mm -hmm. and he wants to make use of it for a bank, the name of a bank. And all these years he's kept it. It's one of the two single-letter domains that you can own, and he mm -hmm. um, has finally found a use for X. He wants a, an app that does everything, basically, doesn't he? Called X. Well, X just means you can type X on your computer or your phone, and it will take you straight to Good idea. the yeah. site. Yeah. 
You don't have to remember any names, you just have to remember X. Why do you That's think... Sorry to, to uh, butt in, but why do you think uh, he's in lots of trouble at the moment with some of the big advertisers because they're accusing him of being anti-Semitic, I think. Why? Well, I mean, that's absolute nonsense. I mean, this absolute, absolute nonsense. I mean, uh, my great-grandfather was Jewish mm. for a start, so I don't understand the, this. where this comes from. I have no idea. I know that Elon said in an interview that um, if you, if you, if the Israelis go in and for every Arab child or Palestinian child, rather, that they, you know, uh, kill. Uh, they're going to create an entire family of Hamas members mm. in, in exchange. Well, Hamas are already doing that by indoctrinating we them need from the age well, of five in school. Rock, yeah. I wouldn't call that rocket science. I'd call mm. that logic. It's a, well, it, it's, they're indoctrinated it's, it's, anyway. It's a point of view, and we're getting so upset about people having their points of view that now mm. they're getting violent on the streets of countries all over this planet. Um, well, it is. Finally, the I mean, most... It's go on. Wrong. It's wrong. I mean, uh, look... I, I I think that what's going on there is not going to uh, end uh, peacefully if if you if each side keeps on killing mm. killing one another. Well, I hope I mean I I hope it does. Good job we didn't think finally, that in World War Two. Finally, the 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 proper question: mm. Where are you yeah. going for dinner tonight, and what yeah. are you going to have? I don't know. That's up to uh, Elon. I what do you have to... normally? What eggs, chips, curry, black pudding, <laughs> Thai? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We Thanks. like uh, eating food, yeah. No, um, uh, Elon right now is sleeping at the store base. He's been up all night. Mm. He and, always uh, is. Yeah. So we're going there later, and then, uh, uh, you know, we'll probably find... I, 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 I never query where we go to these days, you know. Mm. I just say, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. And, uh, and he pays, really so... Really good. Yeah. Yeah. And my son Kimball is here as well. So Kimball is a chef, Gordon Blow chef, so we'll probably um, go somewhere good. Nice. Well, have a lovely evening. Tell him we're big fans, and if he's yeah. um, at a loose end one evening, we'd love to get him on the show. And yeah. it's it's also really nice and very positive that you've yeah, reconnected with him after a few years, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I've never disconnected with him, you know. Well, so that's even better, where... then. Sorry? That's better. I don't know where all this comes we're from. We're out of time. Listen, um, we, we've got to go, but thank you very Thanks, much Cheryl. indeed. Very good. Thanks. Want to get to grips with the stories that really matter? To cut through the spin and the BS. Want unvarnished and fiery debate? Then join us for Cross Talk. One o'clock every weekday. He's the world's most famous influencer now facing heinous criminal allegations. The Matrix has attacked me. After three months in jail and months under house arrest... Freedom, at last. <laughs> Andrew Tate returns to Uncensored. I think my sister is her husband's property. Do you regret saying it like that? A woman is given to the man in marriage. Andrew, you're simply wrong. A world exclusive. This is Talk TV. We're here! Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. We're on your smart speaker as well. Criminals using XL bully dogs as weapons to threaten others. No matter how well trained, most dog owners will tell you a dog can turn. Do you know what I love about Talk Today? We do it all. Sunak, Suella, scones. I rather like David Cameron. I don't sort of bear him any ill will because he delivered the referendum that he said he would deliver. The Tories love a scrap. You can almost see this coming round the tracks with Suella Braverman. She's heading up one side and Rishi soon at the other. The police are pro-Palestine. That is just not right. You swear an oath in the police to act without fear or favour. The Covid inquiry seems to have turned into a sort of pantomime. There's not really any substance to it. It's hard to know whether it's a farce or a tragedy. For the amount of time it's taken, the number of illegal migrants currently sent by us to Rwanda, zilt. The amount of money it's cost, we're saying, what are we saying it's cost? About 140 million. 140 million pounds so far. So 140 million pounds, so far result, nil, absolutely nil. Are we only going to be trusting sources like Meta and Google? Where is our unbiased news going to come from? Calais in winter is cold. <laughs> <laughs> that is from the Jeremy Corbyn book. Kevin O'Sullivan is the worst presenter on talk TV. Sitting on his fat ass, <laughs> talking for a living. 
If you're walking towards me and you're a vegan, you should have a great big orange sticker over here saying, watch out, vegans about. The weirdest plank that we've had in, what, yeah. three years? Hundreds and hundreds of mice in a box, which he walks into a branch of McDonald's. McMouse Man. McMouse Man, yeah. McMouse Man. He should be easy enough to catch this guy, shouldn't he? I mean, he's got a house full of mice. He's on the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is a major summit. President Biden decided this was important after watching a Tom Cruise film. Sunak and the current Conservative government are not conservative. Why don't you leave that party and come to one that actually shares uh, your ideology? This has been a party political broadcast uh, on behalf no, of I the don't. Reform UK party. Hi, I'm Ofcom. Just, just... Kids think all they have to do is take pictures of everything. Just shut down TikTok. Problem solved. This is really unfair. What's, what, what's unfair? If it's on camera, we're not doing the interview. Yes, I'm going to do. I'm you're, going to, you're going to resign? Yes, because I cannot continue my work. When I say I am God, I'm not joking. Did you feel Elvis was controlling? I've been answering your question, you answer mine. It's actually not my job to answer your questions. Are you prepared you. to call is Hamas possible, a terror group? Is it possible to have a rational you can't, discussion can you? I've asked you two questions. Should Hamas stay in power and are they a terror group? You're refusing to answer either of them. They that won't. is very telling. Talk TV. It's the only place where you get the truth. You've done a book on poetry. Poetry and music for the many. I love poetry. We can agree on that. This is Talk TV. It's the world's number one interview show, the new global home of big debates and big questions. This is really unfair. Why? We'll explain why. For all the big names. When I say I am God, I'm not joking. You're going to, you're going to resign? Yeah, of course, I cannot continue my work. Did you feel Elvis was a controlling influence on you? And the good news? You've already found it. All new Piers Morgan Uncensored, right here, Monday to Thursday, 8 p.m. To grips with the stories that really matter. To cut through the spin and the BS. Want unvarnished and fiery debate? Then join us for Cross Talk. One o'clock every weekday. Standby. Oh, we're on. Standby. You don't start we're giving on. me counts in. You won't be working on the show next the week. Music. You know, honestly. Why not somebody call uh, uh, George... Yannickus. Yeah, this is more like it. I mean, you start the show with some you chill George? out, like all, all music. Hello, George, you're doing a great job. Is you George on. on the wheels of steel? You, on the other hand. Is DJ George on the wheel of this, steel This tonight? is Mark, isn't it? This is Mark. Mark. Mark Gallon. Mark. No, that's not Mark Gallon. Isn't it? No. It says on there. Matt Thornton? Yeah, that's it. All right, OK. No, that's Samara, right. then. Matt's yeah. doing the phones over Samara's there. Samara's a fabulous bimbo. Australian bimbo, yeah. Which is uh, all right, because, because Australian, they've appropriated Bimbo has come back as a word of affection for women. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, right, welcome back to the programme. You have put some sh... Thanks, DJ George, on the wheel on this of steel. Show tonight. So I'm, I'm really thinking of, of moving you off. I'm sorry. Uh, right, 03444991000 is the number to ring. Uh, if you're listening to us on Talk Radio or if you're there watching us here on Talk TV, tell your friends. It's free if you've got a package. Call us now. Um, right, let's uh, talk to our special guest, Andrew Eborn, who is here quite regularly. Andrew, She's not as special. He is. He's, a, he's the only futurist we have. There you go. Yeah, yeah. And no, he's, he's a lawyer too. Special. He's a lawyer, a barrister, barrister and a future. It says lawyer, but you have to be. Do you have to be a lawyer to be a barrister? Well, a lawyer, basically, a lawyer covers everything yeah. from solicitor. I can't. Can I told you this yes. before? Sit back from the microphone. Shall I relax? But barristers yeah. get to wear and costumes. Don't yell. <laughs> you get to wear <laughs> costumes. We do get to wear costumes. And buckles on the high heel shoes. Like have you? Hang on. Don't be silly. They do. Have, they do. Wear don't be silly. Have you I've got your wig on you? Uh, my, there was too much toupee. I oh. thank you. He's got his um, wig on. Look. It does look like it, doesn't it? It does yeah. look a bit like a wig. You could, you you don't need, you could just put a little black bow in there. A, a little, little bit of talcum powder They grow into something. it, because like Jerry Hayes as well, his hair became like a barrister's yeah, wig, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, maybe it's something you get. It's something that happens. Right, we're going to talk about Suella Braverman, who yes. I'm slightly bored with now, but uh. the whole, listen, whether you are a Labour supporter or a Conservative supporter, the whole thing seems to have gone nuts. Why would you bring David Cameron back into any government unelected? Lord Cameron. When you already have an unelected Prime Minister, you've got the leader of the opposition's dithering all over the place. He's a sir, you've got, you've got other, other members of the, the uh, 
opposite side on the uh, Labour front bench, who are really quite thick and stupid, yes. you know, want to support a part of Britain that seems not to like us. And a load got fired last week, yeah, of course. Yeah, good. It's extraordinary. Well, so what, what are we, we going to do? Well, I'll tell you what I love, is that uh, you're sacked for you'll get my resignation letter in the morning. Yeah. What, what, what's well, that God, about? He does that every night. I know, I love it. Um, but what's really <laughs> bizarre, talk about a woman scorned. I mean, everything, but everything was piled into this. What we need to do is work out the details, because she talks about this deal that mm. she had to get Rishi yeah. basically ushered in it's with a bit like no the Gordon opposition. Brown Blair deal at the yeah, restaurant. Right. But 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 without the without the food. Yeah, you're yeah, you're exactly. right. Um, so we need to work out what was that deal. What she says is really, really scathing. She's basically saying he was unfit, is unfit to be Prime Minister. Rishi, to his credit, he must have had that little moment, about 46 minutes, when he felt fantastic because he got rid of Suella. Yeah. He managed to turn around and say, Well, inflation, one of my pledges of the five pledges, inflation's gonna be much less, it's less than half what I but really none of this is still going on. This is all yeah. rubbish. Anyway, I mean, why are we, you know, it, it just, it's complete and utter. We've got into such a state. It would be better, in my view, yes. to call an election now because I think most of the country have fallen just kissed, out of, I don't think you would, uh, but I don't really care because I think what would happen if we called an election now, and he said erection is really mm. <laughs> Um If we called an, called an election now, an yeah, no, exactly. Um, I think there will be such a small turnout below 20%. Because we feel disenfranchised. And I think then you would have to look at whether we had a democratically elected government. And I'll tell you what's really sad, isn't it? People are not voting for a party, they're voting against the party yep. in power. And that's the real sad thing about it. Um, I'll tell you what's going to happen, though. It's not going to be called now, because they're going to bring out all these wonderful tricks out of the hat, the rabbits out of the hat, member of the Magic Circle. Mm. Um, and they're going to turn around, they're going to say, well, they, he's going to promise a few tax cuts. I predict that he will probably at least halve uh, inheritance tax, but he could probably get away with that it altogether. That very few people. Well, it's, it, and he only raises £7 billion, pounds, mm. but if you work all of your life, Mm -hmm. and then still have to pay double tax and so on. It's not going to win them the election, not, no, Well, it will win it for, with certain people. It will help on, on certain bits and pieces. But you need to juggle it. He's also talking about clamping down on people who are taking advantage well, of that, the we benefit all want that. But They all say these words, but he's not fit to be PM. He wasn't voted for even by his own party or an election. And I know we don't really, but we do vote for our constituents. Do you want Keir Starmer in? Well, that's, that's the question. That's my point. Are he's you voting against one. the Conservatives or are you voting for Labour? You know, remember Keir Starmer uh, was in... The the, uh, the 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 opposition with Jeremy Corbyn, and oh, so yeah, was the la I've forgotten her name, uh, the lady with the long red hair who's number two, Andrew. Andrea, Andrea, yeah. Andrew, and Andrew. No, no, Andrea, <laughs> Andrea, uh, Andrea Rayner. Rayner. Andrea Rayner. I will do the jokes, Andrew. You've got to be a serious lawyer. Um, the 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 fact is that I think the majority of us are falling out of love with politics because well, how can you have? A police force that are completely yeah. useless in this country. We are going to need the army if we're not very careful. Yeah. And it's the, point, it's the point I made last time. Actually, we've got the laws in place. I know I listened to the programme a little bit earlier as, as, as I was travelling in. You talked about Hamas. It's very simple. It's a prescribed terrorist organisation. Yeah. It makes it an offence, just to be clear on this, makes it an offence if you support or yeah. uh, invite support for a terrorist organisation. I know. It's Let me simple. stop you a minute. I know you want to get closer to me, or maybe Ash. <laughs> sit <laughs> frigging <laughs> back. <laughs> no, he was <laughs> now it's too far back. No, it's fine. fine. He's fine. No, he's fine. fine. Oh, twist the mic. No, don't tell him to it's touch the wrong mic. mic. It's the wrong mic. <laughs> but the point remains whether I'm You're the only guest I have where causes all these technical I, I, problems. I, I know. It's, it's so you so shut right. twist, twist it a little it bit towards you. No, no, no. Leave it. Is that it? Yeah, fine. Now sit back. A little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. Sit back. No, not too far. Fine. So, Suella Braverman, David Cameron, make it look ridiculous. We're going to get tax cuts, I can guarantee it, next week because it'll make them want to... We need a complete... I don't know whether we need... Uh, a completely different system. I I'm not really into yeah. the... Um, a reformation. Yeah. I, I tell you, I'll tell you what I think. I like the idea of a panel of experts where you turn around, why not get the best person mm. who understands finance to, to be Chancellor of the Exchange? Why not get people who understand foreign diplomacy and yeah. so on and so forth? And then people can elect the experts. Why mm. are political advisers so young, so stupid, have no life experience? Why are these people taken on? 
Well, I think it's, I, I, don't, I think you're casting your net a little bit too far I'm with not. the generalisation. I think not all of them are stupid. I, there are some good ones, and some of them work here. Uh, mm. Some of the past political advisers and so on and so forth. But the Americans but bring in their own civil servants. I think you're right. Political civil yeah. servants, and that's what we get wrong yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. They are the ones who work here. Um, have moved on from politics. They probably did it as a, a way of getting on in life. But when they were very young, yes. I absolutely disagree with you. I cannot understand how somebody straight out of university goes to become a political advisor. They have no flipping yeah. world experience. You don't get people they? from the used to John Major Thatcher. They, they were from sort of grammar schools. You don't get that now. They're from yeah. the, the higher you, you, you private schools. You do need schools experience, now. and you need people who've got experience of business yeah. to be yeah. able to advise on the business side. It's now a career. Yeah, as exactly. Says. So this is what about my panel of experts hmm. and people effectively. That's what I would propose. I let's, think that's a good idea. But that's like the COVID the experts. Look at what they ended no, up doing. No, but they were no, they weren't experts. Sometimes they're too expert, and they they people just follow whatever they do. People rely on the experts too much, and they blame the experts. What you need to look at, and this is why I think the principle is there. You can elect the experts. They can talk about their, their levels of expertise. You say this is what they're specialist in and then they, they have a proper democracy on that sort of basis mm. and then surround themselves with people who can add to that expertise because they can make sure you get differing views and so on and so forth. I mean yeah. obviously yeah. Rishi Sunak has got no idea of public feeling. I mean when we mention Suella Braverman a lot of people seem to support a lot of people but a, a bunch of dusty old MPs yes. wanted her out well, the, and the, he caved into them. Well the trouble is and he did this deal so this is why I think, firstly, I think Brave Women is not very brave on this particular People one. People liked her, though, what she was saying, I, anyway. They liked her because she was forceful and she said this. She had wrote, a bit of a thatcher about her. Oh, she did, a little bit. Mm. Not enough. Uh, but not enough, you're right. Oh. I think, And also, it was wrong for her. I'll tell you it was wrong. I, I absolutely agreed with a lot of what she said in her letter to mm. the Times. But when people say should be, she'd be sacked, she's there to do a job and represent a certain thing. And I think she needs to do that job within... Do why, she's the Home Secretary, though. Why, she should be able to why do. moving on, why would you bring back David Cameron, oh. who was one of the most un... Well, he was a Remainer for a start. Was, there were yes. some nefarious dealings I, at the end. Do you remember? No, you don't, because I interviewed him. Yeah, I do And he had to it, come yeah. in yeah. to yeah. be interviewed because he couldn't stay up late when the show was on. Late. He had a, yes. a, a son, because didn't he? His he, son yeah, was had a sick, family very and had to go yeah. back. Yeah. And I said, so when uh, when you and he was, he'd been elected and it was before he got in, uh, I said, so when you're in Downing Street, are you going to say five o'clock? I'm sorry, I'm going back home. And he didn't really want to answer. Yes. And he had his ridiculously stupid advisor in there who was going, shh. Oh, really? I said, well, I'm recording this interview because you couldn't be bothered yeah. to come in later. Yes. And I am not going to be shushed by you or anyone no, else. they shouldn't be shushed. And they should also be prepared. <laughs> this is what I find extraordinary. And when Suella turns around and says, well, if Rwanda's not going to work, and I tell you it wasn't going to work because the current legal they system... They knew, didn't they, though? They knew, absolutely. And they know now this isn't going to work. It's before the election. And this is no, definitely not going to work before yeah. the election. Yeah. As, as I predict. In, and yeah. not a single plane is going to take off there. You're going and to it's cost £140 premise. million. Pounds it's crazy so far. the amount of money. Why should we pay tax? Uh, well, <laughs> Why should we pay tax? They'll come and get you and arrest you if yeah. you don't. That's there are other aspects and other services which cover tax. But but I do think, looking specifically at Rwanda, you turn mm. around on that sort of basis, and what Suella said, there was no plan B. So what should have happened is Rishi should absolutely have turned around and say, this is what we're going to try and do. And they're looking now at possibly doing this and possibly doing that. And so if I was Prime law, Minister, yes. I brought you in yes. as my advisor. Advisor. Best thing you've ever done. Probably. Uh, we'll see when I tell Better you what I'm going to do. Better to have them inside the tent yeah. urinating out than outside that's right. urinating into the tent. So, um, right. Double-sided. Um, Andrew. Yes. I've called you into the office today. Yes. Because I'm... I'm, I'm taking minutes. Yeah, you take minutes. OK, <laughs> but not loudly. I've called you in the office today. Um, this is my chief uh, personal Good advisor. Evening. Yes. Good evening. Um, and I, I have made a decision. We cannot carry on. The British people are furious with these people flocking to this country coming here and then behaving as if some behaving that they didn't like the accommodation we were giving them they didn't like the food we were giving them and the we wi-fi was them. too slow i've had enough of it yes so all these people i am going to arrange to be shipped back we've got hundred thousand odd put into boats taken over to france whether they like it or not and that's where they came from i'm going to dump them out on their shore I'm also instructing, I've just been talking to uh, the head of the Navy, and I'm going to have a couple of patrol boats. I'm going to have Is them. this still pretend, or have you you've done this? We, shut up. Hey, this and is I'm going to, I am going to have the patrol boats up and down the channel, and as soon as we find, because we've got drones with cameras in and we yes. can scan the whole lot, as soon as we find boats heading this way illegally from France, because they're not running from anything in France, mm. they're quite safe over there, except the French don't want them either, 
and I'm going to make sure they go back into French waters and go back. Okay. I'm not going to... I'm, I'm going to try and keep them all safe. Yes. But I am defending my nation, and we are being invaded. Don't go on, any of you. Oh, no, we're not being invaded. These people are all coming from terrible places. These people France. are all I mean, men it's pretty bad, but... of a military age. There are some families, but very few. They're coming to this country. If their own country is in the shockingness, uh, then surely if they were decent people, they'd stay there and help them get out of it. How would you decide? You mentioned that some of them might be legitimate and some of them, as you say, and maybe families and so on and so forth. What if you you're do? coming in a rubber boat... Yes. You're breaking the law. If you've thrown your documents well, away, that's so, already I'm, a disqualification. Yeah, I, and we're going to slow down the other. We need certain people because we're running out of young people in this country, I know that. But... I am not having any more of this boat be landing on our shore, being jobs. picked up. Charities going, oh, these poor people, give them this and that. They're not going to come here anymore. I'm going to use the Navy. I've instructed the Navy. You, as my lawyer, yes. need to Barrister. give me any... He's a lawyer as well. well as that's encompassing. Uh, as, as much uh, information about how I do this legally. And if I can't do it legally, then we are going to we'll change... do it illegally. We're going to change what, the what, what I find extraordinary, Prime Minister... Um, good. I think is that good? Maybe that makes good. sense. Is that we can change labels because the idea of t turning around and saying we're called Uganda or uh, well, Rwanda and so on and so forth, we're called a safe country only because we designate it to be so. Yeah, really Abraham good. Lincoln always used to tell a joke whenever he gave a speech. He turned around and said, uh, counting the tail as a leg, how many legs does a dog have? Five. That, well, no, because you can't count the tail as a leg. And people would roar in laughter. I thank you. They was. It's an Abraham Lincoln thing. Okay. So just calling it safe doesn't Maybe that's make it safe. Shot you can't right. reclassify the things. Well, the fact is, I am not allowing the invasion of the United Kingdom anymore. And the... Prime Ministers before me have done... National little. security. You're allowed to on national security grounds. Ignore any conventions. Yeah. To, to and I'm not sending them to Rwanda or anywhere else, yes. and I want the money back. And they're going back to France. The French are letting them in. That's your problem, OK? That's your problem. You sort that out. So we are not having them let's here. Let's take the ECHR, let's unbind it from our laws. It's not even enshrined and, and, on the EU's and, laws. And that's what they're saying, they're going to get rid of that sort of stuff. But you're going to, your proposal, Prime Minister, is you're going to get them back safely. You're going to make sure that those yep. who have a legitimate cause, you'll make sure there is a sensible way of dealing with them. How would you deal with them, Prime Minister? How would I deal with what? With the people who legitimately want to come here. Or legitimately I'm not entitled. talking about that at the moment. I'm talking about the people who are coming the People who are coming boats. illegally, and you'll send them back safely. Every single safe, person yeah. who comes in one of those boats comes here illegally. Okay. And if we find people in the backs of lorries and find people wandering around the streets, find people in the black economy that are not to be here, they will be deported back to either country because I'm getting sick of it. Yep. And, and don't Should tell be me, the first safe country don't you tell get me to. I can't... Because I'm the Prime Minister, no, no, we'll find and I will to help find you. a way. You shouldn't we'll be able to pick and choose you. what country. Oh, oh, I want to live there. Get and the why brochures. is, I mean, is it's silly Rishi? Yes, I, I had a bit of respect Rishi. for him, or whatever. Yes. And he said, "Oh, we might take us out of there." Not might. Not a, be assertive. Monday morning, He's yeah. not got it. letter goes in to the European Court of whatever we want to get out of, Human and rights. we leave. Yeah, so and we start. We get. I'm getting the Navy in Monday. Yeah. They're going to send a couple of frigates. They're going to go up and down the channel. We're going to have a lot of drones out there. Uh, absolutely. And, and we're you will get defend. on. You will get on very well internationally with potentially the next um, president of the United States. I will. Donald. Yep. Donald has yeah, made man. it very clear yes. what he's going to do for all the people who supported Hamas. Good man. Uh, and he's going to look at what they say in these yeah. student outlets and so on and so forth and backdate it and he's going to send them all away. That's what we, we should be doing. Listen, we are also getting a lot of people coming here under a student visa, bringing mm. their families, mm. and then after they've gone through university, because yes. we pay them quite a, they pay us quite a lot, yeah. we are then uh, allowing them to stay. It's not going to happen. What, it's what, not going to happen. What, what, what I love... Navy, stand by. Absolutely. What, what I love, Prime Still Minister, is that you're, no. you're standing there, you're very firm on your principles, which is great, because so many people, the trouble with politicians these days, they're in the business of getting re-elected. Mm. So it's very short-termism, exactly. as opposed to looking at what is the benefit mm. for the society. That's where we're trying to have so an back, advantage. Back Absolutely. to reality. Yes. Back to finish well, I this like off. that reality. Back back to I think life. that reality would do well. Yes. Um, I wish I was a bit younger. And I probably oh, so what you just stand. said isn't happening. Take the notes and shut up. Um, so, have Just you pretend. taken the notes? Well, yeah, yeah. I'll no, you them, haven't. Yeah, yeah. You I'll pass them on but to... Uh, that is not the notes. <laughs> There's nothing on it. Look, it's... No, it There's literally. nothing at all. That, that, yeah. that's, uh, yeah, there was, uh, last time I was here, James, I offered you immortality, which we can do through AI. Oh, so you could okay. be the virtual Prime Minister. A James Whale Tamagotchi. Wouldn't that be fantastic? Shut up on your key ring. 
Yeah, man. Well, I could, I could be. Um, I don't know if I'm about that. Could be what you want to be. These days. Um, Andrew, good to see you. Thank Always you very much you. indeed for coming Thanks, in. And man. we're going to we're going to take you up on having lunch with you one yeah, day. I'm, I'm not forward to that. You know, we it, uh, we need to fit that into those the golden diary. arches are awaiting. It's yeah, going to be good. Oh god, yeah. I'm hungry now. Mm. Like, no, you've said the right I words there. On the way home tonight. No, I won't. Yeah. Right. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. We'll be back taking your phone calls after this. They're the world's most controversial brothers now facing heinous criminal allegations. The Matrix has attacked me. After three months in jail and months under house arrest... Freedom at last. <laughs> Andrew and Tristan Tate return to uncensored. I think my sister is her husband's property. Do you regret saying it like that? A woman is given to the man in marriage. Andrew, you're simply wrong. A world exclusive. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. You're on your smart speaker as well. Criminals using XL bully dogs as weapons to threaten others. No matter how well trained, most dog owners will tell you a dog can turn. Do you know what I love about sport today? We do it all. Sunak, Suella, scones. I rather like David Cameron. I don't sort of bear him any ill will because he delivered the referendum that he said he would deliver. The Tories love a scrap. You can almost see this coming round the tracks with Suella Braverman. She's heading up one side and Rishi soon at the other. The police are pro-Palestine. That is just not right. You swear an oath in the police to act without fear or favour. The Covid inquiry seems to have turned into a sort of pantomime. There's not really any substance to it. It's hard to know whether it's a farce or a tragedy. The amount of time it's taken, the number of illegal migrants currently sent by us to Rwanda, zilch. The amount of money it's cost, we're saying, what are we saying it's cost? About 140 million. 140 million pounds so far. So 140 million pounds so far result nil, absolutely nil. Are we only going to be trusting sources like Meta and Google? Where is our unbiased news going to come from? Calais in winter is cold. <laughs> <laughs> that is from the Jeremy Corbyn book. Kevin O'Sullivan is the worst presenter on Talk TV. Sitting on his fat ass, <laughs> talking for a living. If you're walking towards me and you're a vegan, you should have a great big orange sticker over here saying, watch out, vegans about. The weirdest plank that we've had in, what, yeah. three years? Hundreds and hundreds of mice in a box, which he walks into a branch of McDonald's. McMouse Man. McMouse Man, yeah. McMouse Man. He should be easy enough to catch this guy, shouldn't he? I mean, he's got a house full of mice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is a major summit. President Biden decided this was important after watching a Tom Cruise film. Sunak and the current Conservative government are not conservative. Why don't you leave that party and come to one that actually shares oh, your ideology? This has been a party political broadcast ah, on behalf no, of I the don't. Reform UK party. Hi, I'm just, I'm just... Kids think all they have to do is take pictures of everything. Just shut down TikTok. Problem solved. This is really unfair. What's, what, what's unfair? If it's on camera, we're not doing the interview. Yes, I'm going to do. I'm you're, going to, you're going to resign? Yes, because I cannot continue my work. When I say I am God, I'm not joking. Did you feel Elvis was controlling? I've been answering your question, you answer mine. It's actually not my job to answer your questions. Can Are you prepared you? to call is Hamas a terror group? Is it possible to have a rational you can't, can you? you? I've asked you two questions. Should Hamas stay in power and are they a terror group? You're refusing to answer either of them. They that won't. is very telling. Talk TV, it's the only place where you get the truth. You've done a book on poetry. Poetry and music for the many. I love poetry, we can agree on that. The world's number one interview show, the new global home of big debates and big questions. This is really unfair. Why? We'll explain why. For all the big names. When I say I am God, I'm not joking. You're going to, you're going to resign? Yeah, because I cannot continue my work. Did you feel Elvis was a controlling influence on you? And the good news? You've already found it. All new Piers Morgan Uncensored, right here, Monday to Thursday, 8 p.m. Uh, right, welcome back. Um, By the way, we need your help. James has got a pill to take, but he's just took out a sheath of his pills and it's got a picture of a dog on it and he wonders if it's a dog uh, pill for one of his dogs. I think Does it was. Know? I think it was. Well, don't take it. I was just feeling... A, a, yeah, anyway. Is it a worming pill? Probably. Or maybe it is for you. I'm not, I'm not taking that. 
Do, those, you are the, worm, you're no, right now. those are sorts of things we don't need to talk about. Giant right Good. Welcome back. Uh, we're in the last sort of half hour of the show. Well, if you want to like. join us, zero three four 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 nine nine one thousand. Liv, good evening. Ring us now. Liv. Hi. No, Hi, it's Liv. Liam. <laughs> Liam. Liam from Liam. yeah from Liam. from Swansea. <laughs> All right, Liv. Yeah, li why did you say Liv? Or does so the there's Liv on there. The Australian... Bimbo, uh, and you're allowed to say that because she's culturally appropriated it in Australia. Bimbo's called a Liv. It's yeah. Lynn Bimbo. <laughs> Lynn. Sorry, we've been told the Australian term of bimbo is a term of endearment. They like it now. They've reappropriated oh, like it. it. Yeah, yeah. I like anyway, that. <laughs> Lynn, let's get to it. There's no I've already Lynn. sacked the tech op, by the way. Spelt, that's line you've written there. Not L Y N E. Hello. No counting. All right, Lynn, hold on. We're just uh, getting your right. name spelled. Lynn, right. we've got it on the screen. What do you want to talk about? Can you just calm okay, down? Okay, right. Um, I'm a British white person, and I've seen a lot in my life. Mm. I was born in 1949. Gosh, you're now, older than I me. Now I want to talk about the. Uh, <laughs> I want to talk about the elephant in the room, right? Okay. Which is Dick Khan and. Hamza, both Muslims, made the the most noise about getting Suella out of her job. Mm. And Dick Khan, he's, he is the boss of our chief of police. So well, our in chief South Wales. of police yeah. isn't going to argue with him. So if our chief of police and Khan says to him, oh, you let the uh, those supporters go through... But the idiots, the hooligans, and the British don't go through. I didn't like the way they blame Suella Braverman for all the, the far right that they called them. Yeah. They weren't all far right yeah. for, for them going. They were obviously going but, to go down anyway. You know, that's the beauty of living in this country, Lynn. We have freedoms, and what we don't want... Not on a Saturday is, in central London, ...is to lose them. Thank you very much. Let's talk to Bob in London. Bob, good evening. Good evening, James. Yes, I'm, I heard about your colleague there taking some dog's pills. Is he barking mad? <laughs> Very funny, but I it was me. Uh, anyway, yeah, Bob, him, what can we do for oh, yeah. you? Well, I'm watching this, so I watch it quite regularly. Um, why don't we do what the Australians did? When they got the illegals coming to Australia, they just shipped them straight back from where they came from. Well, no, they, no, they, they, they they put them on they, an island. They didn't. They? they put them on an island off Australia and processed it. And processed. Well, no, them. I think they said you won't get processed. It, you'll just put it on the island and take you back. You yeah. definitely won't get yeah. in, and that stopped yeah. it. Yeah, we yeah, should, we, we are not. You know, you you're right. Listen, you are right. We are not tough enough, and if we don't get tougher, and people from other cultures begin to take over this country, which is what's happening, the National Trust. Not talking about Christmas anymore. Well, they've gone worse. I mean, I mean, the things they've been covering the up their own, hell is going our on? own history. They've been covering yeah. it up in the last few years. Yeah, yeah. Well, sorry, I'm interrupting. What I would say is, he's interrupting. If they soon reach the shores, straight to Dover on a ferry back from whence they came. No mucking about. Well, you would, you'd, you, you'd have to be prepared to have a little conflict with France. I put them on that. Eurostar so they go back even um, quicker. Somebody, somebody here, what do you think of this? Uh, John from East Yorkshire says uh, send all the illegals to Gibraltar, British colony safe, own territorial waters, own airport and fail to police the borders. Turn the whole lot back into Europe, John from the East. Now we could do that without good getting idea. anybody... Uh, Very good uh, idea. Yeah. So we could, Would you do that when you're Prime Minister again? Yeah. I think nice one. I'd have to work out the legality of it, but yeah, Never yeah, mind yeah. That. Never mind. Would that, that be okay for you, Bob? I'll get put up with this woke situation. You and me but both, be, mate. Before this Remembrance Sunday weekend fiasco, a couple of weeks before that, Sadiq Khan, or Genghis Khan as I call him, his new tweet said white families are not true Londoners. I, well, the the, there was a brochure. They think, took it out and I, put yeah. it. Yeah, they didn't. I, it was terrible. That was. Yeah, I think we ignore him because Prejudice. I'm getting very annoyed about racism, racism against being, you know, white, white yeah. people or we're pink, really. I mean, pink or brown or something. You're not really beige, white. Little light beige. But all this depends kind of, if the sun's been out. Yeah, the, the, this sort of white hatred that's going yeah, on white. around. Underprivileged. Yeah. I mean, that's what you've got. A lot yeah. of white working class yeah. people. Who, uh, Bob, young, thank you very people. much indeed. Good talking. Let's talk to William, who's in uh, Burley. Wilhelm. Yes. Oh, James. Yes, Wilhelm. Mm -hmm. 
Sorry, very bad, uh, very bad line. Stop laughing. Get on with your job, and get me another call up. Honestly, what? You know, oh, sorry, that you line was. Another latte. You and you, a cream, you, lots of sugar. You listen. You do what you're supposed to. I'm going to have to go out there and sack the bloody lot. Well, you yeah. may have to but go you know, and produce in there and tech up. Yeah. Yeah. To cop. Ah, oh dear. Frank in Southport. Good Stockport. evening to you. Stockport. Any port. Frank. Any, any port in a store. I was going to say that. Frank, good evening. Good evening, James. To the point, Frank, what do you want to talk about? Um, Muslims. I can't talk to you. You've got the radio on or the TV in the background. Goodbye. Um, Abdul in Liverpool. Hi, you're on the air. Get her calls through. Stop Hi. being stupid and talking out there. I'm getting really angry now. Hi, James. Hi, hi, Ash. Oh, Abdul. Abdul. Go for it. Yeah. Okay. Hi, James. Hi, Ash. Yeah, um, on, Go for I it. I just, I'm just wondering, um, you know, many of the migrants, it was becoming a crisis to many of the Brits. Uh, you know, like many of them are from the Arab world, the Muslim world in general. Mm. But you know how much, you know, they're very wealthy, the Arabs, how wealthy they are. Mm. They have billions and they're spending billions on football. Yeah. You know, Saudi Arabia, and Qatar, Emirates, with the World Cup, and Qatar yeah. all them, yeah. yeah. Why are they not generous enough to open their borders for their own fellow Muslims mm. and their own fellow race Arabs? You see, what I, Abdul, I agree with everything you've just said. I share them out. Yeah. Well, why, why don't they, Abdul? Why do you why think they, they don't? Why, why has it gone on for 75 years? Why is this? But I have no idea. I think what Europe should do is enforce them, you know, make them take... Make, make them take their fair share yeah. of, of migrants. What I don't want you know? to see, Abdul, uh, and presumably you're a Muslim because of your name. No, no, no. I you're used not. to be. Used to, OK. I don't want to see people falling out because of religion in this country, which is why I want all the religions to pack it in mm -hmm. and stop, you know... Uh, that's why I'm not. Well, there's a survey thing, recently, yeah. and young Muslims, apparently 16 to 24, something like a quarter or a third, think if you leave the religion, you should be put to death in this country. And no, they don't. They do. Abdul, have you heard? That's why Stephon? I won't go back. They've that's been radicalised. Youngsters on, on, have been radicalised. Is that true? Abdul. Yeah. Is well, that yeah, yeah, true? Yeah. Of course, it's true. That, that, that's on the Sharia law. If you abandon Islam, the death, it's a death penalty. Yeah. That's why I won't And there's go young back. kids here I, who I, believe I that. I've abandoned Islam. If I was going back on the Sharia law, if that was the case, but there's no Sharia law in my. Yeah, well, there in are certain country, areas in. Be... Yeah, certain areas in this country where they're trying to bring Sharia law in when we've got uh, perhaps Muslim councils. Well, that's and what people, people like say that. they want to get, get to in stop. Parliament, eventually bring it in dem democratically into British law. That's what. The, the, the funny thing is, most Muslims would run if yeah, Sharia law was implied, was, was implemented like they did from Afghanistan. Yeah, they, they, would they wouldn't want it here. They like they their freedom Europe, here. When they get to Europe, they call for it. And then they but don't in want their it. own country, they will flee from it. Honestly, they will flee from it. Yeah, and they wouldn't That's want it here, yeah. really, would yeah. they? Abdul, thank you for that. You make a really good point. Thanks. Amen. We'll talk again. Jenny's in Lincolnshire. Jenny, good evening to you. Hi, James. Hi. First Hi. of all, I want to say that yours is the best programme on TV. Good. Record that. Put it out as a trail. Thank you very much indeed. Um. You've, just, you've just saved the jobs of all the people in the control room tonight. Oh, have I? Yeah. Oh. Oh, Except, well, oh, we're still brilliant. debating. We'll get rid of one way. anyway as a token. Yeah. Well, we're, you've been both in laughing. your name, Jenny. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, jolly good. Oh. Right, <laughs> um, it's a shame that you've switched. Well, it's not a shame that you've switched to seven o'clock. I keep forgetting you start at seven now, and I keep missing the first. Oh, you can watch us on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> anyway, what you yes, talk about what you right, want right, to. You don't have things. to talk about what we're or talking the talk about. Talk TV. Yeah. Okay. No, I have got two things actually. One of them is. I wanted to know what you thought of Suella Braverman's opinion about uh, homeless people. Um, I've actually done a couple of programmes on homelessness over the years, and I've slept out okay. with some... Yeah, you um, know, when it was fashionable, he did yeah. all that, yeah. And <laughs> there there are, no, listen, yeah, there, Phil are, Collins had there that are different now. different sorts of people who are homeless. There are the young people who come looking for, uh, lo you know, looking about for glory ago. and money. Yeah. There are uh, people who are really yeah. down on their luck. There are people who have psychological It's not a problems. lifestyle choice. Not a lifestyle choice. But some people will tell you, you'll yeah. get people going around from uh, various places trying to put them into uh, homes. And a lot of people yeah. don't want to do it. And there are people who do don't make a, a decent yeah. money out of begging in London as well. And there's whole gangs of them, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I know that does happen. I do know that does happen. Yeah, it happens a lot more than people realise. 
It's very common. Uh, yeah, I know it's true that some of the people who refu- refuse <laughs> yeah. um, to take on... Uh, I think um, it was a mistake to say what she said, yeah. and I think it's taken the limelight off the real problems this country has mm. at the moment. She went a bit too far with that one. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I agree. I agree. Because because I, I fully agree with you. But we agree with what else she said, though. Yeah. Hmm? Well, we do agree with what she said, but... Multiculturalism she, has failed. That was the yeah, big thing she, she said that was wrong. She talked a lot, like all of them, like David Cameron yeah, will, pretty like uh, Rishi yeah. Sunak will. You know, they do yeah. nothing. Well, she talked a bit more, like Pretty Patel. The others don't even talk much. At least those two actually yeah. talked a bit and said something. But, but you then, know, as you say, nothing there happened. can never be... And, and the idiot... Tory MPs who ganged up to get her thrown out, mm. who also yeah. ganged up to get rid of Liz Truss. They're getting rid of all the, pr- the Brexiters. They're, they're, they're just too putting old. Remainers back in yeah. for obvious reasons. They're too old, some of these old idiots, and they need kicking out. I don't think you should be an MP for more than two terms. Mm. I don't think it right, should be okay. a It should be over a certain age, not like 20, 30 years. Mm. It should be have done something in life. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Def- definitely. You, you need life experience. I completely agree. Yeah, absolutely yeah. agree. What was your other point you wanted to talk about? My, my, my other point, right, was... Um, now, I missed this bit where you were talking about what you would do if you were PM. I think you were... Mm. About what you were talking about, because I was in, yeah. in the yeah. kitchen making a tea. Oh, I was trying to get it you could put us on your other thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, we're on yeah, Alexa's. To... Alexa, turn on Talk TV. Sorry, go on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I turned the volume up. So it was on top volume, so I could hear it. Mm, so I got the gist of what you were yeah. saying. Mm. Um, now, you went on one of Mike Graham's shows mm. where he um, he asks you for three mm. yeah. points that plank you of, would... Plank of the yeah? week, yeah. No, as Prime Minister. It's oh, his yeah. other oh, show. As Prime Minister, yeah. His other yeah. show, yeah. No, it's a different... It's a, it's yeah. a few different ones, hasn't he? Yeah. And I can't remember what your suggestions... Were. I'm trying to remember. Do you Mine was to have dodgems so we can all drive dodgems through nor, town. Nor we can I. So let, let's, because I'm losing time, Jenny. What is the point because you want was, to make about this? Well, well, the one, the one that he chose, I was pretty horrified on this particular week. Not this wasn't mm. when you were on. On um, his suggestions were um, to bring back hanging. I was absolutely not. I think that's a good I, idea. Yeah. A lot of people would agree with Only that. Only with 100% proof. <laughs> yeah. Not beyond but reasonable. I don't want to get into debate about bringing back hanging. I'd bring back flogging as well, wouldn't you? To start with, and then yeah. hanging. Yes, yes. I, I think what, sparked, what, what had inspired this um, suggestion was because it was when all this was going on with that evil woman that was killing babies. Mm. OK. Yeah. I don't think you have to worry about it, Jenny. I don't think we'll be bringing back capital punishment any time soon. Thank you for your call. Uh, Fred, who's in... Uh, Czech Republic. In the Czech Republic, yes. Fred, good evening. Uh, good evening, James. Good evening. Uh, Ash, Ash, don't worry about uh, that too much. Uh, yes, Fred, what can we do sorry, for you? I do worry about it. Well, I wanted to add one uh, further perspective to the story, and okay. I've heard in recent weeks um, much talk of how the demonstrations going on around war memorials are a sort of uh, extension of the uh, right to uh, freedom of speech and protest and such such forth that our fathers fought for. And uh, my father was a, uh, a veteran of the Second World War. And I think that if you probably asked him, which you can't anymore, and his generation, which many of them you couldn't for a long time, uh, th- this was not the kind of freedom of speech. Uh, that I, they, they fought for uh, king and country and their yeah. family. And I think if you dug down into it, yeah, they'd say, eventually you'd say, yes, it was freedom of speech and freedom of stuff like that. But, um, no, this is, I think it's been co-opted a little bit, if you see what I mean. I don't think freedom of speech should be given to everyone. I think if you're an organisation that wants to stop freedom of speech, i.e. wants an authoritarian Mm. government that wants to stop it, you shouldn't be given freedom of speech, because that way you'll destroy your own society and freedom of speech. So don't allow anti-freedom of speech, freedom of speech. Well, I, I totally agree with that because the other That's side. Of very so good Voltaire point. was talking a load of crap, Voltaire, yeah. just because right. he's got a poncy <laughs> name. Sorry, you carry yeah. on, Fred. Sorry, Fred. No, no, I was just going to say that the extension to that as well is at the same time. You know, I live in the Czech Republic, minimal immigration, and I often jokingly say to my colleagues, uh, "By the way, if you ever fancy endeavouring on mass immigration, maybe uh, don't get your educational system in your universities to mm. teach the immigrants." 
how badly your country's treated them in the past and how everything that they've got is just uh, sort of... I think right why are they all coming here then? Yeah, that so bad. Sorry, it's, a, it's not such a good time, Fred, but you are a long way away. Um, also, the other thing I think we have to realise, if you look at what happened when Germany, uh, probably because of the history, decided that anybody who wanted to go there yeah. should come in. Exactly they have had the terrible, terrible trouble. Yeah. Uh, Fred, thank you for your call. Nicola, and then we go to a break, and then we'll do a little... Media commentary. Can't wait. I mm. don't know what he's doing this week. He didn't tell like me. David Coleman. Yeah. Uh, Nicola. Nicola. Yes, Nicola from Buckinghamshire High Wycombe. Yeah. Yep. Nice to talk to you, James. And your point is? Um, my point is um, that you and the gentleman are very racist and your caller that was just on, Abdul talking a load of crap, <laughs> mm, talking was. about how the Arab countries should the Palestinian people going to there. I, why should they? Why should they be evacuated from their own country? Because there is a war going on at the moment and it yeah. would be great to get yeah. the innocent oh, civilians yeah. Jordan was Palestine as well. No, they yeah. just want to bomb. They just want to bomb the whole of Gaza. They don't know. He, he's just, just got his chance. Of course they, they, don't. No, he's, they could have done that within a couple of days if they Gaza. wanted to, couldn't they? What do you, the Palestine what, what do you people out of the what? area and bomb the whole place. You, that's completely they, stupid. What would you do? No, what, I'm telling you it is, so, you, you know. Well, actually, in a way, you're right. They did want to get all the Palestinian yeah. people in and get rid of Hamas. You are right, and that's what they were trying to do. But Hamas were shooting do. their own no, people they're trying they're to leave. Children. They're bombing schools. Hamas are shooting the children, children and people trying to leave. Israel are no, protecting Israel are protecting them against they're their own government. They actually have to put tanks to stop the people going south. They have to protect them from Hamas, who are executing their own people in the streets. Now, listen, Nicola, I'd like to hear your reply to this. No, and you're believe that you're actually reporters on the channel you should we be are. i mean look look at your telly we're here I, i'm not really sure i'm not really you sure you understand great yeah to the you British, are you are an absolute disgrace to the british broadcasting we're not, people and we're not part of them on talk tv you should be banned we are your, listen first of all mate, nicola Nicola, you listen. Calm down. Nicola, listen to me. Nicola, are you yeah. going to listen or are you going to carry on talking? That's better. Do you want to hear my reply? Here it is. Yeah. What? We are not reporters. We do not work for the BBC. You're right. I am an enigma and he's a hanger-on. Yeah. OK, so we are people who do shows that have debates. And you've actually just libelled us both. And you've libelled us and you will be getting a letter from his... Barrister. Lawyer, barrister. And yours as well. Yeah, yeah, Andrew. Uh, in the very near future, Nicola, thank you. If you don't like the programme, Nicola, you yeah. don't have to watch us or listen to we us. we tell you before. And that show, will be yeah. the best way to get rid of us. No viewers or but listeners. Thanks for the call. It was we'll great. get out of here. Yeah, thank you so much. He's the world's most famous influencer, now facing heinous criminal allegations. The Matrix has attacked me. After three months in jail and months under house arrest... Freedom, at last. <laughs> Andrew Tate returned to Uncensored. I think my sister is her husband's property. Do you regret saying it like that? A woman is given to the man in marriage. Andrew, you're simply wrong. A world exclusive. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. We're on your smart speaker as well. Criminals using XL bully dogs as weapons to threaten others. No matter how well trained, most dog owners will tell you a dog can turn. Do you know what I love about Talk Today? We do it all. Sunak, Suella, scones. I rather like David Cameron. I don't sort of bear him any ill will because he delivered the referendum that he said he would deliver. The Tories love a scrap. You can almost see this coming round the tracks with Suella Braverman. She's heading up one side and Rishi soon at the other. The police are pro-Palestine. That is just not right. You swear an oath in the police to act without fear or favour. The Covid inquiry seems to have turned into a sort of pantomime. There's not really any substance to it. It's hard to know whether it's a farce or a tragedy. For the amount of time it's taken, the number of illegal migrants currently sent by us to Rwanda, zilch. The amount of money it's cost, we're saying, what are we saying it's cost? About 140 million. 140 million pounds so far. So 140 million pounds, so far result, nil, absolutely nil. 
Are we only going to be trusting sources like Meta and Google? Where is our unbiased news going to come from? Calais in winter is cold. <laughs> <laughs> that is from the Jeremy Corbyn book. Kevin O'Sullivan is the worst presenter on talk TV, <laughs> sitting on his fat ass <laughs> talking for a living. <laughs> If you're walking towards me and you're a vegan, you should have a great big orange sticker over here saying, watch out, vegans about. The weirdest plank that we've had in, what, yeah. three years? Hundreds and hundreds of mice in a box, which he walks into a branch of McDonald's. McMouse Man. McMouse Man, yeah. McMouse Man. He should be easy enough to catch this guy, shouldn't he? I mean, he's got a house full of mice. He's on the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is a major summit. President Biden decided this was important after watching a Tom Cruise film. Sunak and the current Conservative government are not conservative. Why don't you leave that party and come to one that actually shares uh, your ideology? This has been a party political broadcast uh, on behalf no, of I the don't. Reform UK party. Hi, I'm Ofcom. Just, just... Kids think all they have to do is take pictures of everything. Just shut down TikTok. Problem solved. This is really unfair. What's, what, what's unfair? If it's on camera, we're not doing the interview. Yes, I'm going to do. I'm you're, going to, you're going to resign? Yes, because I cannot continue my work. When I say I am God, I'm not joking. Did you feel Elvis was controlling? I've been answering your question, you answer mine. It's actually not my job to answer your questions. Are you prepared you. to call is Hamas possible, a terror group? Is it possible to have a rational you can't, can you? you? I've asked you two questions. Should Hamas stay in power and are they a terror group? You're refusing to answer either of them. They that won't. is very telling. Talk TV. It's the only place where you get the truth. You've done a book on poetry. Poetry and music for the many. I love poetry. We can agree on that. Ever feel like you're not part of the conversation? That you're not getting the full picture on the important issues. Or the stories that impact your life. Jim, who was on in the last hour waiting a year for a heart operation, blew us out of the water. Well, at Talk TV, we cover the issues you care about. I would love to give the nurses a massive pay rise. Give them one, then. With proper debate and argument, we tell it how it really is. And have some fun along the way. Talk TV for the stories that matter. Yes, I right, totally Because, agree, quite yes. frankly, I said, yeah. you gave us a five-second countdown then. A five-second countdown. Did he you just say 30 seconds, seconds, but he didn't have his ear in. Yeah. You need to do it in semaphore. Oh, hang on, you should you should listen anyway. I heard him. Yeah. I heard him I I Just I before we go back poised. to the calls in a minute, we've got our producer Chuck on now. Or is Barry Be Took in this Yeah, book. Barry Took. Barry um, Took? Yeah, because he... For everybody under the age of... 70. Well, 70. Barry Took was a Who company Barry writer presented This is a view. special section of the programme called Pointless views. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to like. read out um, some of the tweets we've had in from the show so far, because you've got so many fans. I Hang thought, on, just I a thought minute. Just minute. Oi, pay attention, or I will sack you. I thought we had a jingle. Right. All right, so here we go. Here's the you first one. Trust them. Uh, this one is Never. from Scott Martin. He said, I'm making the most of my limited time on this planet tonight watching James Whale talk to Lizzie Cundy about getting a prostate exam <laughs> of a trans person. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, they've got big bits. fingers, haven't they? Because they people? don't get smaller when you stop the hormone. It doesn't do they get not? Small, no. Well, there it's you go. thinner. So, Scott not. Martin, do you have a response to that? Not really. I mean, I, I, <laughs> Scott, have you been checked recently? Because you no? did say you, you, you wouldn't want to be checked by a woman, but you'd be happy to be checked by a trans <laughs> Yeah, I know. Long, the long I nails. Making a debate. Long nails. I was making a debate. I don't really care who checks me as long yeah. as they find the cancer and they sort it But you it didn't out. want a man to but change your shoe. I, I know I did want a man. You wanted a man before. Yeah, I, I, and you, I mean, you were very you, strict on it. When you're talking about men's bits, it's nicer and easier to have a man who understands yeah. how your body works. And when you're a woman, you don't really want uh, a female gynaecologist. You probably want... Oh, sorry, a male gynaecologist. You probably want a female gynaecologist. Yeah. But there was a complete unnecessary argument, really, about... But now you, the... you're not... Because before you just wanted a man... I did not. To do it. Yeah, you, yeah, you did, did, yeah, you did, did didn't you? Now you don't well, mind. I may have... Well, since really smaller, it's I, going to be better. I may have... May have got my. I'm dyslexic. I may have got my words round. It, it, you're, it changes from but day to I'm day. I'm not changing. He's gender fluid. I, I'm, I'm gender fluid, and well, I, that's what they look for. If yeah. they are, if they are a person that is qualified to do what they're doing and they're yeah. good at their job, well, obviously then they you want can a qualified come person and do, to do what that. they like. Yeah. All right. Goes moving on. So, goes yeah. without so, saying uh, that. Yeah. Elizabeth Borelli says James Whale is consistently rude and ignorant to his guests. He thinks he's clever and funny, but he's neither. So why listen and watch? 
Because she oh. likes that sort of thing. Oh, she right, OK. It. Well, that's good, yeah. Uh, Brian Which, Mellon. I don't agree with that at James all. James Whale is an absolute imbecile. Um, yeah, and this one here, Sean sent us two prats on TV from Sean yeah. the Sheep. He, he's the big lefty. He doesn't about like two T double O. He's a bit thick, isn't he? <laughs> he's, a, he's a big lefty. He's not a fan of yours. He's a big okay, thick. Um, now, sure earlier on in the show, you mentioned your hit single... Bimbo yeah. from the 80s, and you said you were on the Hitman and Her. If you remember that show, that was Pete Waterman and Michaela, I don't Michaela, think Michaela Strachan. I hope you haven't found Well, we it. found a very short clip of it. Let's have a look. This is when James was in the charts. Oh, no, how embarrassing. Floor filler. Look at this. What is okay. this record, Pete? Look at this. You're an inspiration to me, Pete. I inspired this you. You inspired this record. Yeah, you inspired this record. Oh, thanks very much. Dedicated to Michaela. Thanks. I'd like her to have this coffee. Oh, thank goodness. Pete there was holding your 12 inch there, was he? Yes. proudly. Yeah. yeah. And didn't Pete and I look young? So I feel sorry for the younger well. generation because they don't realise that you were like Britain's first ever rapper. You yeah. were a rap star. Yeah. The Whaley Rap. Decades before Kanye West. Yeah. And the Christmas and, one. And P. Diddy. Yeah, the, but the Whaley Rap did really well. Yeah, exactly. and that that, they copied you. Wow. You what were rapping a, in Ice the 80s. Ice T heard that and then he went back to America, didn't really? he? He was watching it. Yeah. I love that program, Ice T is on now. Is it, is it NCIS or is it. Yeah, uh, he's on that, yeah. 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 But Anyways. you're very similar to him. Yeah, thank um, you. Very, very next good. up, we've got a clip. So earlier in the week, Jeremy Corbyn came in yep. and he had a big fight with Piers Morgan. We looked at Not that Piers earlier. Corbyn. <laughs> but he left his book. He's written a poem book, a poetry mm. book. He left it in the studio, so we decided to have some fun with it. So we got Stephen Pound, this is, this who is you may remember. former Labour MP who had a bit of a fight in the studio, do you remember? A lot of a fight. Yeah. Did he? He's a lovely guy, though, but yeah. he, he used to be on uh, Corbyn's front bench, didn't he? He used to be in the Merchant Navy before that, and yeah. so he can, you know, he can, we he's good with his We used to have him fists. as a regular guest he's on great. our show. And he can fight. Um, and was it a Tory MP or somebody came in and had a go? Yeah, of course, because he was, he was one of the Blair's babes, believe it. He was. You wouldn't think that looking at him, but he was. Um, but what's great is he... Did he change sex, then? He well, doesn't like Jeremy no, and he doesn't hold back, so we got him to read out a mm. poem from Jeremy Corbyn I in saw his this. book. It's very funny. It's called mm. Calais, and you can see it in full on That Was the Work That Was, which is coming up at 10. Yeah. But yeah. here's a little clip now. Okay. Are you sitting comfortably? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> 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 Calais in winter. No, not, not again. Wait, <laughs> you haven't heard this bit. All oh, right. Cold, wet. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want it to be cold and wet. You want it to be hot. And cold, wet marshlands <laughs> around Calais in winter. Police take tents away from the homeless. <gasps> The railway station is protected with razor wire. Motorways have walls on each side. Trees are cut down to create open land. And huge rocks prevent anyone leaving a road. There is fear in Calais. Hey! So that is a reading from the Jeremy Corbyn book. It's out soon. Don't bother buying it. <laughs> Uh, Andre is coming up actually uh, after that program, eleven o'clock with, with an Lars and Peter. Yeah, yeah. but I think bunning. we should do a poetry book. It's so bad, it's good, and, and yeah. Poundy obviously is a natural comedian. Because well, obviously let, you don't need now. to do it. Let's in try. Have got a poem? Here. Well, let's do no, some let's imp make one up. improvisation. Okay. Uh, let's think of a title. Why don't we? Right. Here we go. I'm going to do it now. I'm going to do it now. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So here's a day when I sat in the studio, watching the world go by. A day when I knew I'd get a little hassle from a few of those people going by. So I is this sat the poem? in my is chair. This, this is the poem. He hasn't started and, yet. Yeah, this is just you telling us. Oh, for do God's sake. telling us about his day. Yeah, just do the poem. I was now. doing the bloody poem. You oh, is interrupted that the poem? me. No, this is rhyme. Oh, I didn't know this, this is all poem. part of it. Yeah. There was a. Yeah. But Corbyn's poems don't rhyme. No. Well, nor did mine. And so, quite frankly. Could you do a poem about Jeremy Corbyn? Jeremy Corbyn sat under a tree. He didn't like to see the trees cut down. I don't know why. <laughs> Jeremy Corbyn wanted to run this country, but he wasn't very good. Jeremy Corbyn is a man who feels misunderstood. Oh, Jeremy Corbyn oh. is a man who has very little regard for the truth. Jeremy Corbyn wants to pull some people's teeth. 
I have no idea why that last line Can came we have in. the poem now? Do you want to your thoughts on Jeremy Thank Corbyn? You Can we actually yeah. have the poem? Yeah, why'd you ruin it? Do the poem. Why'd you, you ruin it? Oh, is that it? Yeah. Why'd Ash. you ruin it? I give think it, it give, ruined Ash. itself. Give us a poem on Suella Braverman. Suella Braverman is a very brava woman. <laughs> the way she stood up <laughs> yeah. for this country and everyone You're was You're not very good at this, and... are you? I haven't started my poem good. yet. That was just my that thoughts wasn't about good Suella Braverman. Oh, my last one was superb. That wasn't good. Yeah, yeah. You said she was a brava woman. I quite like that. Quite nice. Do you remember there was a Braverman who works in radio? She was yeah. called Braverman. That's the name. Are you misgendering? Oh, I hope not. Yeah. Okay. We don't have a lot of time. We've got anything uh, else? Yes. One quick clip. So um, this is an old-fashioned commercial in the eighties. There were these phone lines which yeah. you could ring and you could speak to people, uh, and they invented one for Santa Claus. <laughs> Did they? Yeah. Let's have a look. Oh, right. Christmas is near, and I am delighted that so many good boys and girls are calling my special number to hear my exciting Christmas stories. There's a new story every day, and you'll receive a free gift from Santa and me for calling. Christmas is a magic time for us all. Call me, and we'll share the magic together. Call 1-900-909-8888. Each call costs $2 for the first minute and 45 cents for each extra minute. Be sure that your parents give you permission. Do you know, I used to do loads of voiceovers for those. I remember the bloke, yeah. yeah. OK. Yackety Millions, yack. they mate. Yeah. We'll play but, that next week, yackety but, yack. You clapping but, out of time. T, X, will you stop it? X yeah. has taken you, over. You Twitter built up to there. has yes. taken over. Yeah. Yeah. All Simon these... Cowell. Well, Simon Cowell said he, got, he, stole, that, that, it he, you, he that. stole that idea off me. Mm. A bit like Piers Morgan is. They yeah. all knocked yeah. up Nick's off you. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you're, you're not you're not on at 11? Are you on at 11 or not? No, man. No, no he's going home now. I'll go home, don't Yeah, I? but I thought you were so so keen on this flipping stupid demonstration tomorrow that you... Uh, yeah, be there tomorrow for the no, Christians yes. against no. anti-Semitism. Don't...